you're there, check it out. Their website's awesome. Can we start the fucking podcast now before they don't? Okay, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the podcast. <laughs> welcome to the Chief and Sean show, damn it. It's Tuesday. Oh, it is. It's a long Tuesday. fucking week, you guys. Yeah, it is. You guys have no idea what all we did in the week <laughs> since the last podcast. I don't know but... what our listeners have been doing this week, but I bet they did a lot. Counting the days. They did a lot of sitting in their mom's basement, eating Cheetos, and talking shit on the internet. Just refresh. Refresh. Yep. <laughs> nope, still not one. Refreshed. No. I better make a post I about it. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, well, McDougal. McDougal will look at any chance at getting somebody on the internet. Yep. <laughs> Jeff Lutz is here. Hello. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Been a minute. I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I haven't figured that out. Just every yet. once in a while, you got to come hang out. I mean, well, you know, you, you're my boys. Us. You're he my boys. Us. I got to come check you out every now and again. Um. So <laughs> when we when we started this deal just now, you were you had just <laughs> you had just received something. <laughs> yeah. Normally we wouldn't. You know, go into our personal lives on this thing. Shit, who hasn't gone into <laughs> that, your personal? That's lives? pretty goddamn personal, but right this, there. This is a, uh, I don't know, man. This is a part of you I didn't, I did not know nothing about here. What I the think, fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What it is, surprised so, the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, really. So I got yeah. all these notes over here. I'm like, what we should talk about on the podcast? We just wanted that. Stop. Th- yeah, <laughs> shanked it right into yeah. the trees. Yeah. All right, Sean. I'm what, pretty down, man. I'm what pretty just disappointed. Happened? What? Just tell me what. Tell me what happened. What just happened? Um. Well, anybody who knows me pretty well knows that I've wanted a daughter for shit. I don't know forever. I uh, share that. Okay, uh, and you know that. And I, you and know. bottom line is is uh, me and Aaron having one's just not an option for us. I don't want a baby. I want a little girl. You know, that's kind like, of the, okay. Part, like, probably lots of this is going to sound creepy. Ready to run? It sounds like <laughs> walking. Yeah. <laughs> So, RTR, it's like a pre owned car. Batteries and everything or what? Get that shit. This is still RTR. <laughs> I'm thinking Put batteries in that shit, let her roll. I'm thinking, you know, somewhere between, you know, five to ten. Oh, oh you want the hard no, part I gone. I was looking at somewhere between 19 and 23. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're set then. You're set. Oh, then. You got it. You got oh, it. That was a dick move. That, that, that <laughs> was... <laughs> you guys. Oh, that was fucked up. Yeah. Okay, so you want a daughter. And who doesn't, man? Yeah. I got two boys. They are the meanest, gnarliest, perfect little assholes. Like, yeah. you cannot ask for two more perfect little shit. They are so kids. badass. Yeah, no, I've met them. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I've, you know. I, but who doesn't want a daughter? Who doesn't want a daughter? You know? And so I, I've been, uh, we've been trying to, not trying to have one, you know, trying to get one. You know, and we Aaron always frowns. We can't get one. Maybe, like, trying Aaron to snag one up at on Walmart, hey, or what? Hey. No, hey. Yeah. For real? You've been looking at like shopping like, carts, well, empty shopping carts. Aaron, for Aaron, you're sitting Aaron in Walmart parking lot going. Yeah, that would work. That would work. work right there. Hey, and this Aaron reminds me of the me, movie Raising quit. Arizona. Are we allowed to do that? Are we allowed to talk about that? I don't, no. We're not allowed to talk about anything on anything. that fucking thing. But I know that Aaron's <clears> always telling me, look, you're going to get fucking arrested. You can't look at little girls like that. It's really creepy, you know, because we'll be like at, you know, the doctor's what? office or dentist's office or something. I'll what be kind like, of, look at that little girl. What kind of looks? What do you, what kind of look? Show me the look. Um, I don't, like, I don't know. <laughs> if Aaron was here, she could show. Did you the see look the look on his did. face when he said he was really upset about it? I'm I mean, pretty upset this, about this, it. I mean, last I time I tell. seen that look, so, you know, something fell off. the So club. we've been trying to adopt, man. You know, there's lots of little kids out there that needs houses, and they're going to tell trying me. to like adopt, yeah. adopt, like yeah. for real, like, like for real, like try legit. to you know go through uh, DHS, you know, and try to adopt a little girl. And, okay. Uh, yeah. What I mean, okay. First, first questions. I have a couple that come to mind immediately. Yep. Um, I don't know anybody that's ever tried to adopt. Um, Me neither. If anything, most of us have tried to stay away from having extra kids. Yes. So, in this adoption process, like, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm going to ask you, though? I get to pick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's no, what no, I'm wondering. No. Like, no, no, no. no. New, list. <laughs> new list. That was new <laughs> list. Yeah, ain't nobody just, making no memes about me. You don't want to and be my the, family. I'm, I'm just you know, saying. That, 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 that type I of, am that not racist, okay? I'm not. Never have been. I am I judge everybody, okay? Yep. yep. But I'm going to judge your ass if yes. you're walking through the Target with you and your old lady and your white son and your black daughter, yes. and I'm going to be like, oh, she got him. Yep. Oh, yeah. I yeah he, he took knew. her back. He took her back after that shit. Yeah. No, uh-uh. that's, that's, you know, 
Hey, and trust me, that was that was that's always a concern. I don't care what anybody says, that's a concern, you know. And it just you know, and I'm not adopting somebody because I'm a good person. I'm adopting somebody for for me. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it. I don't. I just. I don't feel like everybody's like, oh, that's so sweet. You want to adopt a kid? You know? No, I want to adopt a kid for me because I want a daughter. Right. Okay, you know, but. It sounds kind of, I don't know, it sounds kind of shitty, though. Like, there are people out there that can't have kids. Yes. That are trying to adopt children. That that literally, the universe has not made it possible for them to have a child. So they're, they're trying yes. to adopt every day. Yes. You can have kids. I can. But, but you want to take one away from people that can't. No, no, no. I want to take one that is in a DHS home. You want to take one nobody wants. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. there's there's all kinds of kids out there that need that are looking to get adopted, you know. And I guess you got to pass some sort of fucking test. And you obviously, obviously I failed that test. You suck. You, yeah. what, why why do you say up. you failed the test? Well, what do you, you mean? want me to read you a little bit off of the letter? You got a letter. Uh, we got a letter. You got a letter in the denying, denying your Aaron is going to kill. Me. I was just ready to ask. Well, that. that's what we do here. Yes. You you got Let a letter denying your adoption. I did. I did. And it says your request to be approved as a and this you know Oklahoma DHS. Uh, bridge resource parent has been denied based on policy. And it tells all these policies. And then it has a whole bunch of reasons. It has your reasons got, why you got denied. Yeah. Well, and then it checks the reason, you know, I mean, this is probably the same one that they give to everybody. Well, but yours is checked I in have different places. Two different check marks. Well, Ooh. let's hear the check marks. Uh, the applicant or any person residing in the home has a history of arrests and or convictions <laughs> per, and then it has all these, all these other numbers that don't really mean anything next to me. <laughs> and, then, and then scroll down just a little bit further, and I got another check mark, and it says one or more factors concerning the applicant, a family or household member, and I'm really the only household member. So they're they, talking about me. So you may as well just added my yeah, name. Yeah, you there. fucked this deal up, Aaron. I did. No, no, Aaron's yeah. never been in trouble a day in her life. So right again, on. Aaron goes through life. Yeah. Sorry, Aaron. Yeah, your yeah. your life sucks because of Sean. I'm yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I I I did have a past. I feel like okay, I, you so know I moved the, on. What's the second check mark? Um, because the first one is arrest. You've been arrested. I, and basically, that's what this one is too. Uh, <laughs> one or more factors concerning the applicant. Oh no, Aaron's texting me right now. She's probably telling me not She's to tell mad. Anybody. A family or household member or conditions in the home as described in the denial letter renders the applicant or home environment inappropriate as a resource home. You're inappropriate. I, I I've seen yeah. you do some inappropriate stuff. <laughs> I've done a lot of I inappropriate stuff. I never stuff. caught you staring at young girls at Target though. Yeah. I mean, that's fucking well, we've creepy. never been to Target together. <laughs> Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> now, Walmart. You know, you know, I, when I go to Walmart. Hey, you know, folks, the Walmart, Walmart in Oklahoma. You that's like a leper colony. Yeah. yeah, that's. Yeah. So, <laughs> what, Jeff? That's fucked what up. What did you just a say? A leper colony. You said going Oklahoma. to Walmart in Oklahoma is like going to a leper colony? Yeah, it's it's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> yeah. and, and our uh, hiatus from the podcast here. Has uh, left us with I don't even know how many listeners now four maybe yeah probably and Jeff just got Five. rid of two of them yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I got rid of the rest of them because I'm a piece of shit <laughs> but no that kind of helps us out I think being yep. yourself and yep. yourself is an Man. inappropriate felon who's not allowed to have I a little can't girl fucking believe that and you know I, mean, not... I understand I'm not allowed to have a gun you know <laughs> or a weapon or you know something like that but fuck me so you're at I that level have a little kid yeah yeah I mean. Yeah, hey, there's crackheads out there every day, DHS taking their fucking kids away from them and then giving them back and shit. But I can't have one. But I can't see you standing there going, I'll, I'll take them. Yeah. Uh, but that's cool, though. I mean. Well, obviously I can't. I, there's, so, I just, there's just a lot of, there's so many questions. I had no idea, Sean. Yeah, but it's been about, know. it's been yeah. probably two or three years and we would pursue it and then we'd be like, man, our life is a mess right now. We travel around so much. Now's not the time. And so plus, we kind of put it on hold. Shit. And then I, and then, you know, I'm a piece of shit and got that. You know, I just, I ruin everything. And, and, you know, this is something that Aaron's been wanting too. And now I've fucked that up for her. Okay. Just because you've been arrested a bunch or is it because of the reasons you were arrested? Um, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. check. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it's the, the reasons. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, it has to do with the firearms. It probably does. But I mean, hell, you remember, man. I mean, me, you, and Flip, we used to go to gun stores a lot. And you remember one time. Yeah, no, I Flip, was like, yeah, I'm going to fucking try it. You know, hey, and I talk got, about, sir. 
Okay, well, then I probably shouldn't say anything, yeah. but I feel like I'm going to. Flip would always come out of there with a lot of guns. Flip would always walk out of that <laughs> store because a person like Flip could own a weapon and I couldn't. Is which that is, right? Which is still <clears throat> fucked up. Which is, I am. If, so if anybody we first should own a gun, it's not Flip. Yeah, yes, exactly. Right. But he but was he allowed could. to buy them. Yes. Because he didn't do anything with guns that prevented, in a cr- crime, that prevented him from having guns. Well, right. you know, yeah. I feel yeah. like I did what I had to do. I, you know, you were, I spent a little reformed. time in jail. You reformed. I, 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 I was on probation for five years. I'm done after that. They let you, you know? out. Exactly. So I don't see what the problem is. But I know that whenever I first met you guys, and it was one of those deals where you, even Chief and Flip, just staring at me, going, "What the fuck? What the hell do you mean you can't buy a gun?" And I'm like, "All right." They just said I can't in have Oklahoma, one. In Oklahoma, like, look, look, man, they got just me said, on some bullshit. They just said I couldn't have one. In Oklahoma, it's hard to get to that point. Really? Because in, oh, in Oklahoma, you're anybody can buy guns. Like in, in Oklahoma, you walk in, you buy whatever the fuck you want. You walk, you strap a Gatling gun to the back of your Ford Taurus and drive <laughs> yeah, off. Aaron Nobody has cares. A carry, concealed carry license, and I can't <laughs> own a gun. So wait a minute, if you get mugged or something, you go, "Hey, Aaron, give me the gun." Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, that's okay. illegal. But I'm just saying, because if he is a felon. He's not allowed to have. He's not allowed to be. I'm around. not allowed to touch her. Her guns. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yeah. I'd hold that over your head too. I'd be like, yeah. hey, man, oh yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he yeah. don't have a gun. So I have to. All of our, all of our road trips start out with. Remember, if we get pulled over, this is yours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how all of my road trips start out too. But it's not guns. <laughs> hey, I remember driving. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, every road trip with my dad was, hey, if we get pulled over, this, this is your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that a time yeah. or two. Uh, well, I mean, that's a hell of a way to start the day, but really, that literally just happened as we sat down that, here. That changed my whole day right there. Yeah, it did mine, too. Wow. I mean, I thought, you know, any day, man, we should be getting that approval letter. In, yeah, you, you, look, you look like you're upset. Sounds yeah, like sucks. you sh- yeah. sounds like the universe is telling you to to shoot for it literally. Yeah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> or or just I, can't. I I I wouldn't mind having another one, but I can't have my two kids that far apart. Can't have another baby in the house. Oh, I got you. Oh. You know, and the whole point of doing this is because man, Aiden makes me feel like shit all the time. You know, he used to always. When am I going to get a brother? When am I going to get a sister? You know, and no, it's just, just not going to happen. It's a little late. It is. No, it's definitely too late to have a new one. Hmm. Yeah, because he'd be wanting to do all the brother and sister stuff, and he's just too old for yeah. it. Yep. They weird. wouldn't have nothing in common. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I understand lots of people out there probably, or, you know, the four people out there, somebody's going to say, oh, no, I had a brother who was 10 years older than me. We get along fine, but come on now. Yeah, but all his friends were touching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danger zone. Sorry. Sorry. That got weird. Uh, okay, maybe that's just where I'm from. You know? <laughs> That was just on your street. That was just yeah, that was at his house. <laughs> that was just, you know, that was just Roofer Street. <laughs> uh, so, well, the amen, my heart goes out to you, brother. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, big time. Uh, but if you want me to stop by and help you out on that deal, I could, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what, no, you, but, you no, but you really, can, he can. You think you can make a six-year-old come out? I might have. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him make a lot of shit happen. I mean, <laughs> that may happen. Uh, oh man! Well, yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, I mean, that sucks, brother. Yeah. I mean, you can always go back to adopting dogs and cats and shit. No, no, no. I'm, You're I'm out of that. The pets, man. Okay. Hey, I'm, look. I'll just go another route. There's other people hey, out there besides no, DHS, a, right? There's another route, brother. No, I, no, I know there is. And <laughs> hey, Aaron yells at me all the time. No, there's about a it. couple of different routes, really. Yeah. There's that market that's a little off color. I know a little bit about it. There's that mark. Hey, there's that route. But then there's the really easy route that that guarantees the characteristics and DNA and and bond that you would have with your own child. Yeah. Make Aiden a little bit cooler and get him a girlfriend. Because I can guarantee you, I'm I was thinking about trying to have another kid at one point in my life, but. Corbin's going to make this deal happen quick. Yeah. Yeah. You know is. what I mean? He is. Cause, cause, You're going to be raising some grandkids. Yeah, hey, yeah he's going to be a granddad. Gonna, there's going to be so many kids around me. It don't matter. Because Corbin, that boy, he's four right now. I guarantee you. He, he will just, and he's going to drop him off at my house in his 78 Trans Am and be like, what the fuck you want me to do with this? And he's going to drive off. <laughs> He's four going on. Yeah. So, you know, 13. this day and age, it's not unheard of for a kid to have a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your boy's about there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Get him out there, man. Yeah, that's Put what I on, said. I don't, want, I don't want the whole diapers and all that get, that baby <laughs> baby stuff. Get him on tender. Make him do all that. It's his kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's responsible. Yeah. yeah. I know? mean, he's, yeah. what, 11, 12? Yeah, he's, his turtle, his he's turtle on his way. Died yet. Yeah. <laughs> he's still got his turtle. <laughs> he's still got that turtle, man. Yeah. I had to feed that oh, bitch all shit. week. No shit. Yeah, he was gone. Oh, my goodness. And then, it, you know, then when he's in school and stuff, you can take care of the kid. But then yeah. when he's, you know, when you want to go do shit, you make him take yeah, care of Yeah, I mean, then it's his. <laughs> Here. God damn it. Watch this, kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's an option. It's yeah. there, I'll look into that. There's always ways. I'll, I'll talk it over there and see what yep. she thinks. And then, you know, <laughs> yeah. there's other stuff. like Do that now. <laughs> you know, you, hey, you win a couple of big races, you know, you could buy one. Yeah. You know? Just Man. keep your eye out for a, a real messed out loser with a baby bump. Yeah. Be like, be like, with a baby bump. Like, hey. like, hey. It's like getting a car with no let, title. You let, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Get that, we all have done that. Get that shit notarized. Nobody cares. <laughs> shit. Get some papers. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. You know, we've all, we've all titled a pro mod on the street. It's I mean, the same thing. it can be done. Yeah. Just, just look at the meth head and be like, Hey, yeah, I, I see you let that deal go a little too long. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's the baby daddy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, he's down no, around the corner. He's nowhere around, no, right? Hell no. He, he wouldn't miss it anyway. He's in that sewer pipe. Uh, well, now it's, yeah. Sad. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Mm. Yeah. Hey, that's part of it. Yep. Part of what? No, it's not. I don't, I don't know. It's you not blew us away with this deal. It's not part understand. of it. That's not That's not the way the universe should be. Should, life sucks, brother. Yeah. Hey, and there's lots way. of kids out there that life sucks for, and I feel like I could make a kid's life better. Yeah, and you and can't And now they're going to fucking tell me I can't because when I was 18 years old, I fu- I'm, you know, I was a piece of did shit. Did some shit? Yeah, you allegedly. Because I, I allegedly did some shit. <laughs> I still never admit to nothing. Got me on some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your car? No. <laughs> and I don't know what's in it, but that shit ain't mine either. No. Nope. Uh, you know, hey, man. The universe will take care of you, whatever yep. it is. If I promise, if it's, it's meant it's, to be. It's got some weird way of knowing what you can handle and what you can't. And right now, maybe it's not your thing, or maybe, maybe the kid that you would get right now would grow up to be a you know a nut job and smack you and beat you to death with a hammer or something. Yeah. You never, you just don't know. This may have saved your life, but also something else may come up. My brother's out of jail. I'm probably gonna Look, go buy a car today. Just gonna let you know. <laughs> They let my brother out of jail. If they I, let my brother out of jail, you could get a kid, dude. That yeah. shit could happen. Did you yeah. see him back there on the bicycle yet? The one that he's trying to get running? <laughs> God damn, dude. I felt so bad for the him. The bicycle. He come fucking he's running trying around. to get running. He come running around. He's like, Let's, that, I says, is there a fucking a motor open, on that yeah, thing? We probably shouldn't talk about probably that bicycle. Open case All right, on that. Yeah. Somebody's, <laughs> probably, somebody's probably looking for it. Yeah, I'll guarantee it. <laughs> All right, there's nobody, uh, but, nobody but, back there. You know, on the basically bike. what I was trying to get at is if they let my brother out and said, you're okay to be around normal people, then anything could happen, brother. Don't give up yet. You know what I mean? There's ways. There are ways. Raising Arizona. No, oh, no, no. I, I, I thought about show. that. I, I've told Aaron a lot. No, that one, I'll, that one right there will work. Yeah. Let's just go. Start the car, bitch. Yeah, let's get it. Go. <laughs> start the shit. Start the scion. Pull it right get up. Get some front. candy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Goddamn. Get Jeff. some get candy. Some candy. <laughs> he, he, he's <laughs> creeping this whole fucking deal <laughs> out, isn't he? It way too creepy. <laughs> get some candy. Go to the candy aisle. I'll meet you outside. <laughs> You're already at Walmart. I mean, what the fuck? Sean's going to have that old man walk around with candy in his pocket all the time. <laughs> Jingle oh, a little piece of candy. He <laughs> walk, walk around the fair. <laughs> Hey, the fair's going on. The fair There's is a, going yeah, it's a, it's a on. Oh, you could get a kid out real, there hey, quick. So, hey, and somebody would let me. <laughs> yeah, no, They'd they, be like, no, go ahead. My parents used to drop me off at the fair hoping somebody would pick me up. Yep. <laughs> you know, that was until I got old enough to, you know, carry shit off with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> until you were able to join the team. Yeah. <laughs> then I was a contributing member of the family, goddammit. <laughs> then I was important. Now he's contributing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, Not really, though. Well, well, I don't really know where to go from there. Man, no, you kind of caught me off guard with that deal. Yeah, I, it did me too. Ooh, blew me away. I didn't even know they was really going to send a letter. I mean, I just, I thought, just figured they'd stall you out. I did, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> why, 
<laughs> why didn't they just fix the glitch? I just, I just, 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 why did they have to tell me? Off was you too, go. Too much of a I piece of shit. Kid. Instead of sending you a letter, they just stall you out. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like, you're like, no, we're looking. It's, we're, you it's, know, in, it's in the works. It's yeah. in, hey, we're, you know, I'm working on it. We it's got in some, the proper channels. We got some things. It's probably sitting on a, a desk right now. There's a pile and of then stuff. A few you know. weeks later, they give you, you're on a waiting list, and then winter comes, and you don't even think about it anymore. Yeah. And the next summer, you go, I wonder whatever happened with that day. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And they go, yeah, yeah, no, we're, yeah, no, we're close. Yeah, yeah. we're close. We're close. Yeah. Then you forget about yeah. it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. Just like they do with people who need a heart, and then they die, and nobody cares. Yep. Yeah. You know, they, they waited we're, it we're working on the family. Except the family's still going, what the fuck? No, they're they're at the fucking lawyer's office going, what do we get? Yeah. <laughs> Cash me in. <laughs> That's how shitty the universe is now. <laughs> you know, yeah. everybody in the family's going, what what type are you? What blood type yeah. are you? Don't, yeah. shh, don't tell nobody. We need him. How long you got? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, man. But, you know, I will say, if you know, a lot of the reason why I love you is because you don't give a fuck at all. But at the same time, you might start thinking about a lot of the reasons that weird <laughs> things happen to you, maybe because of your behavior, you know, like making fun of, you know, handicapped people. The dude, oh, hey, that. the hose, the hose. <laughs> oh, I'm not awesome. going to quit doing that shit. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm just saying, you know, then, you know, you just got to be fucking. Well, then who would I be? Yeah. You'd be, you'd be fake. You'd be fake. But then you got to be fucking about everything, though. I, I, I take it. Okay. I'm okay, not cool. bitching okay. saying, you know, I am saying, why is this happening? But <laughs> I'm not saying, look at that guy's got a fucking You know kid. what? He there's, don't deserve it, but I do. There's one saying, thing you can guarantee. Ah. You just said that. You there's said one thing you can guarantee. They do. The they do. They do, though. <laughs> if you got another kid, he'd be just like you. Yeah, no, he'd be making fun of the handicap, too. just like me. Perfect. I know. He says shit sometimes, and I'm like, God damn it. You probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Filter. Brother, thank the universe. Aiden is not just like you. I he's, know Aiden. Hey, he's a good kid. But, but he has a good he, heart. No, he does. He's he got a, a lot of Aaron, heart. but he's he's a smart ass. Yeah, no, he's you know? a no. Oh, he got that. He's, on. A, he's, fucking, a, he's smart a fucking ass. smart ass. And, he's and, a, and he wants to sit around and make fun of other people all the time. Yeah. I don't know but, who gets that from But him. thankfully, Fuck. he does it. In private, yeah, under his breath, yeah, he does not, not to their face. Yeah, oh not, well, yeah, but I don't like talking behind people's backs. Yeah, but, that's what I'm saying. He's a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> if he's gonna judge people, he's gonna do it in his own home under yeah. his breath, just like everybody else in America. He's, yeah, yeah, but that you're the you're the one that you know. Case in point, uh, uh, we went to we the, we, there was a big race in Bristol. Big right? race, the big race, big race, big race in Bristol. That's that race that gave us all E. coli. Uh, yeah. My God. God Hearing him cough in his helmet. Hands, dude. Oh my yeah. God. I'm just now getting over it. I'm not. I'm still oh not over God. it. That, yeah. We really, that, that race got everybody sick. But as we're there, uh, I had rented a home for the weekend to, <laughs> because <laughs> it was pretty badass. It was. It was badass. The out. swimming pool. You don't the rent deal. fucking piece of shit. No. Well, no, it was pretty think, nice. I mean, okay. Look. You're you're big chief. Say you're big chief. I know you're not, but say you are. <laughs> what an asshole! Okay, you go to a hotel, right? Yep. And you park your rig. Everybody and, knows your rig, and and you, you got to work on it. You know what I mean? At night, you sit around and think about all the cool things you could be doing to your race car. You can't do that in a hotel parking lot because there's people camped out there, and there's weirdos, and there's nutcases, and there's you know, yep, a lot of them. Mm-hmm. But and you're they, my you're my hero on that because that picture you shot of me. I said, "Where are you at?" You shot a picture. Of the car, out of the trailer, between the house and the fucking swimming pool. Yeah. So bad. Well, if you're going to yeah. get... It's With pretty, the pit mat out. It's it, it's hot <laughs> as hell there. Yeah. I'm thinking, hey, we got the car. We set the pit up right there at the oh, house. That was awesome. And there's a pool there, so I could go swimming. I could work on a car. You know? Hey, you're famous. You it know was, what I mean? I mean, I'm not rich, but I'm famous, right? Yeah. It was awesome. So, you know, you Airbnb to crib. You know what I mean? There's a lot of weird things about the Airbnb we'll get into. You know, it's, it's weird. Mm-hmm. It is mm-hmm. weird staying in somebody else. It is. It's weird staying in somebody's house. Yeah, yeah. Just, sleeping in somebody's bed. You know just they just weird. jacked off the night before. I mean, right you right always got that, that right. right there in that bed. Damn. Damn. Oh, that's not what. That wasn't put it right shit. on top of him. Was, yeah. Oh god! <laughs> like a fucking sandwich. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, 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 oh. just, hey, just like this. Just mm, all in his pillow. Oh. You did your head all in his pillow. Look at him. You just freaked him out. Yeah. No, that's not the weird shit I was talking about. Oh, okay. Let's hear your weird shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it even compares now. You know what I mean? 
Like I was talking Look, about. You, you fucked up the story. Uh, like I was talking go about ahead. like the weird shit. You know, it's, it's different weird shit. It's it's like you you know do you do you close the blinds? Do you walk around naked? Do they have cameras? You're never gonna see. You know them. They got the nanny cams. Yeah, they got a nanny cam. Yeah, they got the nanny cams. You know cams. what I mean? That shit's gonna be on fucking. Yeah, they're gonna see YouTube. big big chief swinging dong walking around their house yep. smoking a joint. <laughs> yep. Like, yep. And do you get the smell out of the house before they get back? You know what I mean? Like, yep. do they care if it smells like weed in their house? It it, you know? it had a it had a stench. Uh, <clears throat> the neighbors. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. So, so, <laughs> so there's a neighbor at this house. I got the car out on the jack, so I'm getting it ready. I'm working on it. I'm listening to music. I'm doing my thing. It must have been too loud. It was, yeah. <laughs> Not at You're all. shitty. So this guy comes walking up. And, dude, this is out in the fucking country. Like, I try and get houses away from everybody, right? You were, you were real close to nobody. Yeah, I mean, there was nobody yeah. there. But yeah. this guy comes walking up out of fucking nowhere. And I'm in, like, swimming trunks and shit. I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, hey, hey. Like, mm-hmm. my race car is just hanging out, music going, you know. Like, hey. <laughs> and he's all, gives me the nod, you know. And then he just keeps looking at the car. And I'm, like, talking and shit. And he's, like, not not really responding. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy's problem, you know. And I'm like, can I help you with something? Didn't even turn around. No And I was shit. like, oh, yeah, this motherfucker he about to piss me off. You know what I mean? So then I turned the music down so you could hear me. <laughs> you know you're in trouble when the music gets turned down. Not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was deaf. So he oh, didn't know, shit. <laughs> he didn't know that I turned the music down on him. So he didn't know I just upped the tone. <laughs> he didn't even know what kind of music <laughs> Chief likes. <laughs> he had to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was going through his body. Dude, I, I, he thought the car was running. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> this is what Chief Dude, was just talking this about. This is what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> so this guy's like, he's standing there, and he's like, I'm a big fan. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, man. I'm sorry. I, I, have to, I mean, hey. I can't do the deaf accent. Oh, Dude, yes, sure. you can. You did it great that no. day. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> So he's like, I'm a big fan. I was like, oh, thank, thank you. And then I realized, like, oh shit, he's retarded. He, but he wasn't retarded. <laughs> <laughs> You're just making him better and better. He's taking the fuck <laughs> off. And he says, I'm an asshole. I should be more like him. No, but and I, sensitive to yeah, people. Said, but I had sensitive to retard. I had no. <laughs> hey. No, I didn't know. I had empathy up. for him. Okay, I let's see where he's going from. Yeah, look, all right, good. I had empathy for him. I'm yeah, like, you're I'm, right. <laughs> yeah, you did. I did. I said, oh, shit. I'm and then he was like, I can't wait till Sean gets here. So I can tell him. <laughs> Pass that over here. <laughs> no, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't know, right? So then I'm like trying to be cool. And I'm like, hey, man, you know what's going on? And he said he lived up the road or whatever. And he said he... He watches all the shows, you know, and I was like, hell yeah. Hey, he knew a lot too. Like, and then I'm like, well, okay, he's not retarded. Like this kid, this, this dude's sharp. Cause he's like, you still going to smoke what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. I, it's still a small block. And he goes, hey, man, he's man. I said, yep. And he said, I want every episode. <laughs> oh I'm not making fun of him. I swear to God, this is the way, dude. What the fuck? Like, you can make fun of the way everybody talks about fucking deaf people? I don't get it. Like, he can't hear me anyway. He's not listening. No. 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 Man, hey. And I'm the piece of shit. Hey. Hey, but I'm not making fun of the guy, okay? No, not at all. So then, like, so he's standing there, and he's like, he's like talking all about the car. He knows all about it. I'm like, God damn, this dude's a fan for real. And so then I'm like thinking, like, hold up. Like, how does he know all this, though? If you're deaf. Right. When you watch Street Outlaws, what do you really get? <clears throat> so is yeah, there like closed caption for the hearing impaired? Right. So in the little corner, is there somebody that pops up and has to? I think to you read. I think you them? read it. I think it comes across what people say. You oh, know the fucking. Okay. That's what closed caption means, isn't it? Uh, right. Okay. So it's just like subtitles. Yeah, that's, that's it. What, subtitles. That's, that's that's exactly cool. what. No, it's not blind. You were I thinking mean, there was some, <laughs> there's no, <laughs> Hey, there's no. <laughs> hey, there's no braille. <laughs> There's no braille. Oh, that... Goddamn mouse fucking. What the fuck? Mouse what the fuck was that? There's a mouse fucking trap. That's a rat. That's a rat. That's a rat nest. That's a rat nest in the desk. What the fuck? Yeah. 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 
Mouse's no, yeah, the no, mouse something gone. jumped out at him and it scared the <laughs> shit out of me. Out of me. There's a rat's nest in this fucking. That's desk. a big rat's nest. But what's it been getting that out of? It really likes rubber bands. Some sort of jacket. And yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have any hanging here. No, and, that I mean, looks look like a, that looks like a good. Notes. That looks like a good big flannel. Man, that's weird. Yeah. Okay, we got. <clears throat> we should do. So, anyways, I mean, there's no bumps that pop up on the TV or anything, yeah. you know. And he reads <laughs> so, it with yeah, his fucking so, okay, hands. Okay, I get it now. He's not blind. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, how does he fucking watch the show? Okay, so there's subtitles, so he can read. Okay. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> okay. So, but still, like, it was pretty wild. So then, but you know, with deaf people, like, they're smart, so they talk to you and they say things that, you know, that are intellectual, and you have an actual conversation with the guy. He sounds a little different, but you have a normal conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be like talking to somebody from Jamaica or something. You know yep. what I mean? They yeah. sound a little different, but they talk fine and they smoke good, you know, so everything's cool. Smoke yeah. good, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, then <clears throat> I'm standing there <laughs> and he leaves. And I was like, that was cool. He came down, said his piece, got the fuck out of here. Yep. Beautiful. Now I know I don't have to turn the music down. I'm not worried about offending the neighbors. Fuck it, right? I'm going to do my thing. So then As I, opposed to earlier, you were worried about it. Well, no, I just thought maybe the you know the people when I move away that have to live there every day are going to have thinking, to deal with this guy. He's thinking, you know "Fuck I mean? it, I'm only here a week." Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah exactly. <laughs> I mean, what are they right? going to yeah, do? Yeah. Yeah. No shit, right? So, but I'm thinking now at least like nobody's going to complain when I leave. My Airbnb gets a good check. We're got, we're golden. Well, then I call I call the homies over because now fuck it, right? We're going to hang out. <laughs> yeah, but hey, I was lost. I was lost leaving the track, and I don't really know what happened out in that area, but. You know, I didn't really have any service. So I'm lost driving around and passed his fucking house. Did you pass it? I had no idea. Yeah. Hey, I went. <laughs> and he was standing out there by his trailer. I have no idea. Hey, and then the rest, for, for two days after that, I looked for the house and couldn't fucking find it. But when Sean finally shows up, the, you know, the neighbor homie had just left, you know? And, <laughs> and, <laughs> And so Sean gets out, and I'm telling Sean the story. Of course, like, he couldn't wait to tell me. I'm like, you this know? dude knew everything about the show. He knew everything about the motor. Like he was a, he, he knows his shit, you know. Yep. And then we're still talking. And he's like, so he was just checking out your car. I said, yeah. He just walked up out of the woods, started checking out my car and shit. And then Sean <laughs> the goes, woods. you should fire it up. Let him hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you're an asshole. He goes, you should have at least asked him. Like, hey, you want to hear it? You want to hear it? Want to hear it? <laughs> I'll bet he does. <laughs> that motherfucker sounds good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It sounds good. You hear it popping? That's a, that's a whole gas cam. That is a whole gas cam. <laughs> so, yeah, you know he wanted to hear it, though. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to hear anything. He'd have, heard a, he'd have fucking heard a chainsaw if you let him. You should have, you should have fired that bitch up and put it on the two-step for his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he just covered him in M5. Yeah. He'd have felt it. He'd have been crying. Yeah, for sure. So then, so like, after that, we started <laughs> discussing the fact that Sean just don't give a fuck. At all. You know what I mean? You know, and, and Sean would have been like, you not hearing me? I told you to get the fuck out of here. You know? <laughs> what are you, deaf or something? <laughs> so, so, so then Jeff Lutz shows up. And so now we got Jeff Lutz, who absolutely cares about no one in the human race. Yes. Nobody. No matter what ailment. Hey, he's as bad as I no am. No one is or safe. Worse. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> or worse. Because, he, and he, he is, yeah. So yeah. I'm thinking, the, here we go. Yeah. Like these two. <laughs> well, then we get, we, we get reminded of the Oh, it's story. bad if you get us both together. Yeah. Because oh he's God. a little older than me, so he's lived his life. So he's at this That's point, he's up. like, I'm 47 like, people. Yeah, How old are you? So, so what at this the point fuck? in his he life, he's like, I had a ten good years life, ago. you know, what the I'm not fuck? holding nothing back. <laughs> I ain't holding shit back. I'm at the age where I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> what the fuck? You make it sound but like hey, Jeff is dying. But I can claim I I'm old. What? Is that wrong? fucking pants right now. And we'd all go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Jeff. <laughs> Hey, but Sean, it may happen. Somebody starts saying, Jeff, you can't say that to, about people like that. Nobody you know, even says that to Jeff. Jeff goes, back in my day. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, I just say. put a bell on him or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> put a bell to the back of his shirt. He wouldn't even know. <laughs> oh, you fucking guys. So, I love it. <clears throat> so then Sean starts telling us this story. Okay. And the story goes, <laughs> he, I can't even keep a straight face because you're old. He's, Fuck he's, you. 
<laughs> he's, driving. Oh. <laughs> he's driving through the. You gonna tell the story? Huh? <laughs> oh, it's gonna. It's gonna. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so there are there are unfortunate accidents and and just unfortunate things in general that leave people just completely incapacitated right like like paraplegics and like yep. you know yep just just can't move arms legs fingers nothing literally have no they can't do anything yep. right and they're but there's there's still people and they're still fans of the show and they still want to see us race. Okay. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> so, so the, I'm sorry. So the, the you know the way it goes is like if you're one of that that type of human, you have like some of them have a tube you know that runs up and and that's how they make their wheelchair go the yeah, way like they Christopher want. Reeves they make their wheelchair go He got a fuck deal there <laughs> <laughs> Hey that was his dumbass fault On that fucking that horse was, that was Damn. his fault That was it his fault he's a paraplegic <laughs> Christopher Reeves Superman. because he thought he was Superman and jumped off a fucking building that's not really what happened, was it? Was no, he, 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 got, he got kicked off a horse, man. I don't know oh, what the fuck you're talking about. Skiing. Oh, he did get his fucking by horse. horse. His no, horse he stopped and he went off head first. Done. That is what now happened. he's blown in a fucking Who's straw. Fucking and that's his fault. Was it the real Superman that fucking died that thought that he was really Reeves fucking the real Superman? No, like the first one. Oh no, that's Jeff Superman. Our Superman. <laughs> <laughs> the Superman our generation grew up with was Christopher Reeve. Hey, he did. Hey, he did get kicked by a horse. I, I, I that. No, no, no. He jumped off that, a horse. Yeah. He fell off a horse. But yeah. my Superman's the same as y'all. So fuck off. <laughs> I mean, that faggot is blown through a straw right now. <laughs> so the, th- <laughs> the theory is that. That you blow into the straw and it makes the wheelchair go one way. You suck on the straw, it makes the wheelchair go the I mean, other I way. I think that's how it works. I don't, don't even know. Well, it apparently know. wasn't working for that All dude you were watching. Is that Sean's driving through the pits. I was riding. You're, Phantom Phantom was driving. <laughs> Phantom was driving. He's going to throw you in here too, Phantom. <laughs> Phantom was driving. Sean's riding. A wheelchair runs out in front of you. Yeah, he, he rolled right out in front of us. And you could tell he... He, he zigged whenever he should have zagged. And I'm pretty sure but what happened. did he see you? Well, eventually he, what? <laughs> <laughs> eventually, I don't know eventually if he, he saw he was fixing to get run over. I think so. And, but I, all I know is I seen him over there and he's, <laughs> you know, he was, he was blowing, he was blowing on that straw. <laughs> And, he, oh and I God. feel like I feel like he should have been sucking on that straw <laughs> instead of blowing on it because we just damn near ran his ass over. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh. Can you fucking imagine what would have happened if you would have oh ran God. over someone in a wheelchair? No. I'd give him a shirt and send him on his way. <laughs> 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 Off you go. <laughs> Can't feel my legs. <laughs> oh damn! Hey, 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 this is our fate, guys. That what shit was that shit us? was done before you was gonna run yeah. him over. Yeah, we, we wouldn't hurt him any worse. <laughs> Not a bit. <laughs> it would look way cooler with your shirt on, though. <laughs> Hell, hey, hey, ten bucks said he already had one of our shirts on. Right Everybody else out there did. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, and it's and like we said, I mean, it's an unfortunate accident, it, and it can happen to any one of us, you know. And hey, if it happens, happens, hey, if it fucking happens, though, I you blowing and sucking no on what the fuck? What the fuck? Wait a minute, you just said that the, 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 the unfortunate accident shit happens, or people hey, too. You're, they are. So if I end up in a wheelchair, you're not gonna hang out with me. You know like, what? It's yeah, I can hear it now. Work. Are we what going? Are you that's about? About? Are you I'm the one in the wheelchair. Yeah, but we're not I cruising you in the car. Hey, hey <laughs> Matt, we're not cruising no minivan and shit. You Fuck know, that. Change your bag. Get in the van. I have tuned and stood <laughs> behind. <laughs> I have tuned and stood behind your piece of shit car so many no. fucking times. I, and I appreciate that shit. <laughs> yeah, but that's just fun. Fucking help me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Can you can you still tune? <laughs> <laughs> oh so, my god. So when we now I know where so I'm. So how at. how bad is how bad is you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, what are we talking here? What are we talking here? How bad you, you is you? Can still, you can still roll around and use your fingers? I mean, he's got a laptop. Dude. It's on his lap. All right, wait. I know where I'm at with you. <laughs> but okay. I can see it if we're in a hurry. Are we waiting on him? Ah, fuck him. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> told I can him. hear it now. 
His fucking batteries are dead. We're out of here. I'll send, him, I'll send him a text and say, look, man, we're tired of waiting. We're going to roll. I was going to say, fuck I need yourself, to, Finn. I was going to say, I need you to lower the two, three. Can you roll by the pit? <laughs> hey, can you swerve by here? Oh, yeah. Shit. Hey, he, one he thing's for sure. Way. He can't go radio racing because his wheels will stick to the fucking track. <laughs> oh, damn. That's not that's not true because my homie from Chicago that's yep. in a wheelchair. He's cool. He He's does cool. it. He oh, does yeah. it. Hey, now he did get run over one time because they couldn't see him back there. Yep. But, hey, yep. he does it. And he, he, he goddamn sure happen. does. Oh, wheels, wheels, no, wheels. No, no, yeah, wheels he was. Oh, wheels, wheels, wheels does too. Wheels don't help nobody at the racetrack. He just Man, rides around like, looking at snatch. He does. He does do that. He does. <laughs> no hey, doubt he's about right that. Level. I mean, he's he's, yeah. yeah, you're damn what right. What else are you supposed to look at? Well, yeah. He's like, guess what's up? Yeah. Yeah. And from what I've heard, you know, and all the dick pics that are out there, his shit works. Fucking right. He's good. That's what I've heard too. Okay. Yep. Yep. But all right. Uh, now the other dude from Chicago. Yeah, he'd be sending girls dick pics all the no, fucking time. Detroit. And shit. Is he from Detroit? He's from Detroit. Detroit or Chicago? Which he, one? He's he from Chicago. I can't remember his name. They're right there together. Uh, Wesley. No, yeah. the Who? other one. God damn it! What's his <clears throat> name? I don't know. He's cool as fuck. He came Brad? here to the huh? Brad? I just know. No, that's uh, Wheels. That's no, Wheels. He come right? down here a couple times for the street races uh, with the Detroit dudes. I thought. Pretty oh, sure. fucking right, man. Yeah. That dude's awesome. Yeah, hey, that dude is fucking Hey, <laughs> yeah. all we, we talked about that shit, I was like, man, look, these cars about to come up here. You better roll your ass out of here. You know, yeah. hey, and dude, he's a, he's a cool motherfucker. I don't know what his name is. Yeah. Hey, I bullshitted uh, with him for probably 20 minutes at the last is, street race. He is fucking hilarious. He's fucking funny. Hey, and I told him, hey, man, when shit like this fucking happens, at least you got a fucking, at least you got a sense of humor. He <laughs> said, what else do I got? Yeah, no shit. You know? Yeah. Mm. I feel like I'd probably have a sense of humor. It, you'd have be, to. You'd be a little bit of time. I'd have yeah. to, you know, eventually come around. But I just can't believe you wouldn't fucking be my friend no more. Nah, I'd have to really consider that deal. It, Look, it man, would, if you're I didn't say I wouldn't be your friend. Oh, okay. You just wouldn't go hang out with me. Well, <laughs> I think you'd hold him back. There's there's different what? levels of friendship. He's been holding me back for 20 <laughs> fucking years. I can't hold him back. <laughs> Man, no. <laughs> you know him. I've been dragging Sean along like a club foot for 20 fucking years. Hey, this motherfucker is going to ditch me. As soon as I get in a wheelchair, he's going to ditch me. Look, man, this friendship just ain't working out. <laughs> I feel, it's you, it's I, me. Yeah, I feel you have nothing to offer me anymore. <laughs> Is your laptop charged up? <laughs> Look, man, man you got to put a battery on this thing so I can plug it in or something. <laughs> no, but for real, what y'all y'all motherfuckers do be like, hey, we get to park up there with you though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know they right. only give you one of those passes. <laughs> you bring in the van. <laughs> you guys are fucking dicks. And that's what I'm talking about. John said that guy should have sucked when he was blowing or whatever because his wheelchair was all over the place shaking the yeah. tires and shit. Yeah. And what? I, and I hey, in his him. defense, it was a little muddy over there, so he could have just <laughs> lost traction. <laughs> See what I mean? See? And I'm standing there and I'm looking at him and he's fixed. He's, this is the night before the race. Yep. He's getting ready to get in his brand new car. Yeah, but I already had like go, five passes in it and none of them went straight. So I was pretty sure if I'm going to hit the wall, I'm going to hit the fucking wall. But, but with all that being said, our lives are so dangerous. Like, yes, there are people out there that just think, how can you guys act like that when they're, when you have what we don't? Like, why would you risk your limbs? Why would you risk being able, why would you do that every weekend? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then after, and then even though you do, cause we put 3,000 pound death machines yep. down a sketchy ass road every fucking chance we get, like a bunch of dumbasses. And yeah. I've <laughs> even been involved in a crash that could have left me in a wheelchair and Sean would have dumped me. Man. I remember Come that. To find dude. Out. <laughs> Come to find out. <laughs> I'm, I'd, I'm I'd probably really be sitting glad. right where you're sitting right now. Yeah, yeah. this is the uh, There's Sean. There's room to get you in there. <laughs> this is you, a, oh, oh, have to sit over here. Oh, We'd have to move the love seat. Damn. <laughs> damn. Hey, man, this it, it's it, it's what makes us who I am, and we've talked about this before, man. I and I hurt a lot of people's feelings, and I don't even know it, you know, because I, I just I, I'm not wired the way everybody else is. I don't mean to hurt people's feelings. I mean, I've sometimes literally, you do, I've, li yeah, no, sometimes I do, but I've literally made chicks cry before. And then I go, what the fuck is wrong with you? I have no fucking idea what I just said offended you. I don't know why. I don't, I don't have that part of me. Maybe it's a heart. I don't know what it is. I, I feel like I have a heart, but 
maybe I just don't understand. Some you do, things that you do. I, I but he has, but no, I no, he has no empathy for that's other it. people. That's it. In other yeah. people's situations. But okay, but that's that good, makes you, like, you never though. nothing's no. too soon. No, I, never I, too soon. An old lady could fall down and Sean go, ha ha. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, look, where were we? We were, it just happened. We were, it did. I, we it were, did. So, I remember I grabbed you because I didn't want you to miss it. We were, <laughs> See, it was, yeah. it was, your back was turned and I grabbed you and said, look, look, look. Because hey, I seen that motherfucker falling and I didn't want you to miss it. Hey, who's a buddy we now? We did. We were in a who's, group. Who's the buddy we now? We were waiting in between rounds and we're standing next to each other talking in a group. Hey, and some, some person was falling down in the middle of falling down. And Sean tells me to shut up, grabs me, and says, look, 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 he's going to fall, he's going to fall. <laughs> and, and then as soon as dude hits the ground, Sean just fucking dying laughing. Hey, dude, he was trying to grab a hold of a golf cart. <laughs> it was going entirely too fast for him to run. <laughs> I knew, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, I knew it was gonna awesome. be good. I knew it was gonna be good. Hey, that motherfucker rolled oh, for at least ten feet. Oh, he was he so was mad, mad. and I felt terrible because everybody else was kind of looking over their shoulder, and Sean turns me right to him. <laughs> so when he turned to look and see if anybody's looking, I'm laughing, looking right at him, like like it was a dick move. <laughs> Man, he was hey, stepping. Hey, aren't you glad you didn't miss it? <laughs> yeah, then I tried to say something funny to make it seem like it wasn't that big a deal. And I was like, man, that's fucked up. They're going to dump the only brother here off the back of a golf cart. Yep. And then Bernie stands Bernie right behind me. On. And Bernie goes, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> only brother here. And I was like, God damn it, Bernie. You're too goddamn big to be fighting. Uh, yeah. Hey, God that dude damn. gave it the best shot. Hey, he, he tried. Mad. He tried, huh. man. He was fucking Fucking pissed. camera and went Hey, but aren't you glad? Hey, isn't it much better? Than us explaining to you what happened that you got to see it. <laughs> no, but Sean, you're not supposed to go out of your way to include other people in other oh, people's. Nah, misfortune. see, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wouldn't you want to know? <laughs> fucking wouldn't right. You wanna, if you have, he the always does that. Look at that. this. Look at this. If you had, I seen it coming. Oh, so it's fucking I had awesome. time you didn't to the fucking. Guy. Tur- I, he was fifty foot from us. How could I help him? I don't know. By the time you got my attention, <laughs> stop, turned stop. Me around, hey, By the time you got my attention and turned me around, he was still falling. The, yeah, cam- the like camera was hitting something. the ground. Yeah, I feel God like you could have tried. It was funny though, it was good. That was and, <sighs> and when you my said, stomach hurts right now from laughing. And so I'm saying, I'm telling Sean this. We we had a little talk, and I'm like, do you ever wonder if maybe, just maybe, that that's why you have such a hard time with certain things? Like, if yeah, maybe. This is punishment for being such an asshole. And he goes, well, no, I'm just an idiot. That's why I can't get my cardio straight. It has nothing to do with me talking about handicapped people. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Hey, I've right. been this way my whole life. I've had fucking some success. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's not that. So- <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not talking about people any more or any less than what I always have. Hey, and at one I- point in my life, I had some fucking success with a car. I mean- <laughs> so it's just we ain't got a handle on it yet. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get it. Yeah, hey, hey we're going to get it. It's going to come yeah. around. Dude, and I'm the total opposite. Like. <laughs> I have to, I want to do everything the exact perfect way before I get in the car. So like if the guy in the round before came up and found me and shook my hand and I signed his sweaty hat or whatever and I fucking hated it, but if I won and everything was I was safe, I'm going to go looking for that sweaty hat. You You're going to sign like, it again. Like I'm going to do anything I can because I want that whatever it was that I did that made me go down through there safely, I want that again. So yep. like I remember when I used to pick up cigarette butts. Yeah, and I, I used do to too. pick up trash. I, I remember used to like, that. Like, if I was on my way to the fucking driver's meeting, if I saw something on the ground, I'd pick it up. You know what no I mean? Shit. Like, oh, fuck all this. Yep. Hey, I'm any, I need any little bit I can, cause you know, my whole, I, I haven't been this nice my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> there was one point in time where I was a real piece of shit, you know? <laughs> I got, hey, I got an application that we could put your name on. Let's see how that deal turns out. So can you, <laughs> <laughs> so can you adopt or no, not? I mean, I mean, is this, do uh, you have a gun? They, <laughs> they won't even loan me a pen to fill out the application. Yeah. I promise you. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's, oh man. Uh, but so, you know what? Going back to that, I'm the same way. When I get in the car, I got to put my right glove on first. It's just weird shit that you think of, Every, you know. You think, God damn, I got to do it the same There's way every some, time. Because at one point in time, you did it that way, and, and you won or whatever. I mean, I'm superstitious, yeah. too, you know, yep. you know, but I don't know about yeah. how I treat people having anything to do yeah. with it. Fuck them. Nah. 
You know, know that it. shit's gonna come around. And yep. you know, and I write notes in my phone for like if we ever do get to do another podcast, like <laughs> ninety eight days ago or whatever. Here. Yeah, it is. I put notes in here, and it says like, it says like, it says Bristol under Bristol notes in my phone. It says, explain the reason why Sean can't buy a fucking win right now because he makes fun of fucking handicapped people and shit <laughs> and people in wheelchairs, and Sean's just heartless as fuck, and I love it because he a cold ass motherfucker. That's my note. Yep, you know, and it's true. That's check. Check. We talked about done. <laughs> got we got it. that out of the way got early. <laughs> that was right up there with adopting. Like, yep. you, you almost yep. even though like certain people don't like Sean for that, you know, a lot okay, a lot of people don't like Sean for that. You have you to they who? still respect him for who he is because he'll say it to the wheelchair guy's face. You yep. know what I mean? Like he'll do it with Yeah, because in my opinion, I'm not making fucking fun of him. Well well what? Well. what? No, no, no. I'm not what? laughing at your unfortunate accident or whatever put you in there. I'm laughing at the situation. You're I mean, laughing the way you got a suck and blow. You're, you're laughing because he made a wrong turn. Well, no, it's the whole situation. So, you know, <laughs> hey, but it's not like I'm happy that he's in that situation so that I can be amused. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I Wait, mean, you get that? But you take that situation and you make the best of it. I, exa- there you <laughs> hey, go. we're making hey, the best of his situation for him. Hey, if you no. can bring a smile to somebody's face, goddamn it, you brought it to mine, baby. Your own, right? <laughs> <laughs> you made me smile. <laughs> You're fucking. <laughs> oh my god! If we could get a therapist in here right now, the shit they would. I couldn't go see no therapist. Uh, Ooh, no, like we probably can't. I'd tell, them, I'd tell them what their problem is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's the deal. Look, I feel like you're just too fucking serious. Like, you ain't never going to get out of life alive. <laughs> You'd be like, do you know you got one thumb shorter than the other one? Like, you would do something to make fun of the therapist. And they'd say, we're not here about me. We're here about you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, easy to say that. It is. Uh, but Bristol was. You know, awesome. it was a wild race. It was. It no was a wild doubt. race. Uh, never been to that track. The people there, unfucking believable in many different ways. Yes. All 35,000 um, of them. There was a yes. lot. There, there was, was a, lot. a lot. Yes. There was 32,000 people ish that showed up. Yep. Um, the place set on a Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday with night. No promotion. No help. Like thirty two thousand. Yeah. The 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 Tuesday after the biggest NASCAR race they hold. Yes. So you would think all the people in that area would be tapped out because NASCAR is expensive as fuck. Have you ever seen? I mean, dude, it's like nine dollars <laughs> for a drink there. Yeah. I don't well, think those people ever left. They were just their coolers in. You know, wallowing around the hillsides <laughs> and shit. <laughs> now you're gonna make fun of people in Tennessee. That's Not at all, up, man. <laughs> Not at all. That's fucked up. But you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen the Hills Have Eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, but they, were fr- but they, <laughs> but they were great. But they were But seriously hey, though, they were great. Motherfucker, y'all don't even know. I'm from very, very no- <laughs> near there. Just a little bit north of there is a little place called Corbin, Kentucky. Yeah, but you don't yeah. wear wife beaters and shit though. Yeah, I mean. Anymore. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. You're, You're all dirty. He used to. Hey, I will say we did okay by not taking shirts because nobody was wearing one. You yep. could have sold a lot of hats, though. Or yeah. if I was an amateur tattoo artist like I am, <laughs> I could have put rebel flags all over everybody, everybody there. Oh my God. But you know what? I probably would have missed out on that, too. They would have said, nope, already nope. got one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. And they wouldn't even have to roll up their sleeve. They just went, yeah. Oh, my fucking God. With the eagle on well, the back. Hey, <laughs> hey, if you're going to come back and do a podcast, make it your last. Right? <laughs> Fuck it, hey, baby. <laughs> Fuck it. This is this is the one right here, guys. Just to let you know, if you're hearing this, man, record it because it. it's gonna get yeah. it. somebody gonna take this. It's probably it's probably gonna be the last one. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna get Ooh. in some trouble. Damn. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I I whenever I first rolled into that place, I was amazed. I could not believe that people would walk that far. Yeah. That like seven miles down the road. It even says all along that highway, do not park on the road. And I thought, holy <laughs> shit, who the fuck is going to park way out here? Well, the next day. The NASCAR race. It was when we full first showed up, up out yeah, there. When we first showed up, they wanted us to go to the NASCAR race. And we got to, we were doing some promotion for the show. Yep. And so we got to go do this NASCAR thing. And it's always so fucking weird for us. Because most people that are famous always dreamed of being famous. Yep. They went to school to be famous. They trained from an early age to be famous. 
Their whole family was telling them one day. You're going to be famous. You're going to be famous because you're really fucking good at this. <clears throat> and whatever it was that they were good at, people get famous for. Not us. <laughs> Everybody our whole lives is like, you're going to die or You're never going to amount to yeah. shit. Yeah, you yeah, never be. amount to shit. I heard that one a lot. Yep. And I'm not saying that we have amounted to anything. Yeah. But, the shit part. But, yeah. but it'd be, you know. <laughs> but like, we're at this NASCAR track, and I've never been, never seen a NASCAR race. I have either. not either. I've never even seen a NASCAR you know yeah. what I mean? Like, whatever that is. You know, like, I don't, all I know is that I know they go around in a big circle and, you know, hey, it, you know, whatever. And every once in a while you get to see a crash. Yeah. And my father, who, you know, who is racist? I'm, I'm not, but he is. <clears throat> and my father, like he said, he goes, go enjoy it, boy. He goes, because where else can you put 60,000 white people in one place and nobody gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was like, I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. Thanks, like, Dad. What the fuck yeah, is thanks, wrong Dad. With you? That's some solid advice. Yeah, solid, solid advice, advice Dad. You know, I'm gonna pass that on. <laughs> you must. You got it in the fellowship. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, but I get there and I'm just looking around. I'm like, Good Lord, the energy around this NASCAR thing. Yes, it's a big deal. Yeah, it is. It's a and there's deal, a lot of tradition there, especially to them people. Yep. Not, I'm not like that. Not like you people. No, I meant like <laughs> that's fucked NASCAR up. people. That's fucked not, up. That's not a race. NASCAR isn't a race. I'm well, okay, it is a race. Well, those you people. Watch. <laughs> it, is, yeah. it is a race. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of chasing each they other. They got a starting line and a finish line. <laughs> just digging up. I hole. mean, what the fuck are they after? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I said too. And you know, we're supposed to be there promoting our show and and doing a little cross promotion. So obviously, somebody at the big network that does that show that we get to be on every once in a while. Obviously, mm -hmm. they decided that. The fans of NASCAR and the fans of us should be the same or close or should yeah. at least meet each other. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So we went and we, but the thing is though, they don't tell us what to say. Oh shit. You know? No. And you don't so, just give somebody like me or any of right. us a mic in front of like press and stuff. Yeah, we're in a press release. Like we're, yeah. on, really? we're like, sitting at sitting a desk. In the boot, oh, I'm in sorry. The, I missed the, that. We're yeah. in the, uh, we're in the, what is it? What is the thing that they go into to talk about the media thing? And we're in there. They're having a press release and it's us. Yeah. And we're on, we're on there and they got a camera and a, you know, a million cameras on us, all these reporters and they got a microphone there. And they said, they said something about, you know, NASCAR and they were talking about, you know, 700 horsepower, 900 horsepower or whatever. And yeah. then I just couldn't help it. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, you know, I remember high school. You know, yeah, we all had 900 horsepower in high school too. <laughs> yep. You know, hey, and then you could just see them all kind of like, yeah, they didn't know what to say. And like, then he goes, wasn't, well, I don't know who this Dell guy is, but man, he's got a, he's junior. got a lot of fans. Yeah, I don't know who this junior guy is, but he's got a lot <laughs> of fans. Everywhere I go, they're screaming junior. You know what I mean? And really? So, yeah. So I was just like, you know, doing my thing, and then then we're like talking about we don't even know. It looks like they're all driving around in circles looking for the ET shack where to get their time slip. You know what I mean? Like the they race just was, made a hit. The race was over before you got to the turn. Like that's the return road. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And man, dude, those NASCAR fans were just like, yeah. They you know didn't what I mean? like, like they they were they were uncrossing their eyes and we shit at us. <laughs> <laughs> well. And those people what, are all I from sit Tennessee. And watch that shit, and I think that that's the reason their eyes are crossed. <laughs> they sit and watch that shit for so much. I you couldn't know? watch I, it. Basically, what I did, and it, I'll tell you what, it is way more enjoyable to watch in person. I mean, it's got to be. You know what I mean? I would think. I, could, <laughs> I couldn't sit and watch it on TV. But what I did was I picked this guy that I wanted to win, you know, number four, because I watched him for a couple of laps. What's thought, his name? I have no fucking idea, man. <laughs> no idea. But I was like, this dude's fucking badass. You right. know, he's going to catch everybody. He was dead fucking last. <laughs> you know, and I was like, this motherfucker's good. And I'd, look, I'd find him. I'd go, I'd look around for, oh, there he is. And then I'd go, yeah, you know, and then I'd have to. And then for two more laps, I'd look for my guy again. And then I'd see him and How? then I'd watch him for a lap. And then somebody would say something to me and I'd look at them. How many talk. laps? Man, they went like 500 Holy fucking laps or something. Fuck, I left me? after 250. It was like drag league without the horsepower. <laughs> yeah, they're all just driving around. <laughs> they, were, they were they were just driving. They were just call driving that power around. tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the fucking power yeah. tour. I'm gonna yeah. be black bald. Yeah, yeah you are. Why's it gotta be black? Why couldn't it be like any other color bald? That's Whatever. fucked up, Jeff. Whatever, what are you yeah. racist? 
Hey, you know the only NASCAR race I ever set? I can remember this. I walked to my dad's that was basement. way back then. No, no, no. this wasn't that <laughs> long ago. <laughs> hey, it may early. have been a while. Ago. Hey, but... still carrying moonshine. <laughs> I sat down. <laughs> you could still pop the trunks back then. <laughs> I sat down, and it wasn't five minutes, and I watched Dale Her- Earnhardt Sr. crash. And I went home. I'm like, yeah, this is fucking gay. Yeah. My dad called me later. He said, you believe he died? I'm like, no shit. You watched him die? I watched him now, crash. That was the, the only, only one that you've ever for seen? For that five minutes, Holy I sat down, shit. watched that crash, and I went home, and he called it's me and told fault. me to... Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, okay, because I wanted, I just want to, I want, I want people to like us. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. going to happen, but I, I want to give us every shot. Yeah, I try <laughs> to, I, afraid, I try to get people to like. I me was too. afraid that we were going to get up there in that press box and they were going to start asking us questions about NASCAR, and we were just going to look look dumb, just yeah, yeah. like yeah, Burr, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which way did they go? <laughs> yeah, and so I started trying to do a little research, you know. So I'm laying around the <laughs> rental home mm-hmm. and. And doing my thing, and I'm watching some YouTube, and I'm watching NASCAR, and and damn, just damn, it's not. Yeah. I just can't. It's just not. I just don't do it for me. Well, then I start watching like older clips, and then there was a deal about Dale Earnhardt Sr. Yeah, man, he was a that's, badass. That yeah, that was a bad motherfucker right there. They called them well, the Intimidators. Well, that motherfucker feel- crashed a car, flipped it ninety some odd fucking times. The ambulance comes flying out there. They get him out of the fucking car. They put him in the ambulance. He wakes up, right? And he says, he says, where's my car? And they're like, the fucking ambulance door's still open. Car's laying there, like fucked off. And he looks at it and he goes, well, damn. He get that bicycle ready? I was going to say, I think he got the bike fired up. What was that? Was oh, that, that was Logan? my golf cart? Was that my brother riding around on his fucking bicycle? Either that or he just stole my golf cart. Yeah, hey, well, you know. <laughs> They let him out. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> sorry. It's so legal. Sorry it's story. legal. Yeah. So they they open the fucking door to this ambulance, and Dale Earnhardt Sr. is laying there, and he looks at his fucking car, and he goes, well, goddamn, it's still got air in the fucking tires. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, it's a miracle. Like, lay down, sir. And then he, like, he got up, got out of the fucking ambulance. They pushed the car to the pits. They duct taped the fucking thing up, and he finished the goddamn no race. No shit. Yes. He did. So I can see why people would watch NASCAR back then. But I and I feel, feel like, like it, now yes. it's just tradition. Just tradition, strictly tradition, and that's the reason people still And they're go. trying to make it too safe. Before they're, they're they trying to make it too them, safe. They didn't they? give a fuck back who's then. Who's they trying to make it too safe? NASCAR. No, it's the yeah. money. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're it's right. The, it is the like money. Just like all the assholes that blame it on NHRA. It ain't yep. fucking NHRA. I've no. been there. NHRA, yep. let me do whatever the fuck I yeah, want. Yeah, they didn't yep. have no script for you to read, did they? Fuck no. When they had me in a press conference, first thing they said, how did it feel this morning coming through the gates at Indy? And I said, hungover. You know yep. what I mean? Like, they didn't give a fuck. <laughs> like, and they all laughed. That's, yep. It's not NASCAR. It's <laughs> the money behind yeah, who gets Everybody's so scared that they're going to lose their sponsor. They're going to lose their yeah. ride. They're going to get fined. You know what I mean? They're going to get fined. That nobody does any of that cool shit that Dell was able to do back then. He was, he was definitely bad. So then, like, I, I look, read, up, I'm watching all this old NASCAR shit, and then I get there, and I'm actually kind of like thinking this could be cool. And then the drivers come out, and they, they look like it, I thought I was at the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was all a bunch of little bitty. Jockey, same, real they all young, look the same, yeah, they young. all sound the same, they all walk the same, they talk the same, and it's just like, ah, I get it. But you know what? Whatever it is that they got, they got it because my son is seven, and he can tell you every driver, really, every driver's name, every car number, what who sponsors them. Wow. He knows everything about them. Yeah. Who won this race last? Who won that race? They last? definitely got the promotion he's, side down because he. Fe- my son can feel like he's part of that team. You know what I mean? Just like all the, yeah, all those people, uh, Appalachian people that we saw in Tennessee. They all wear their jacket. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, I'm an Appalachian person. I can talk. I can say that. I got. Do you one, have a jacket? Yeah. I, one one <laughs> my legs is shorter than the other from standing on the hill all day. I'm all right. <laughs> uh, you know. But they're all wearing their jacket of their guy, you know, yeah. that they got at Loves or wherever. Yeah. And, and <laughs> With the M&Ms all over it. Yeah. Hey, but when they see another guy wearing the M&M yeah. jacket, hey, they give him the yeah. And they yeah. puff up yeah. the yeah. chest. Hey, old, <laughs> yeah. Old fucking Kyle Jarrett Jeffy Jr. is going to get them done today. <laughs> Like just, hat. just when we start to come out of this deal and talk a little bit good about it, <laughs> you can't we though. fuck it fuck all it. up again. You know, you hey, and I'm standing there, and it's the race. And supposedly, you know, this Dale Jr. guy, it's a big deal. Everybody's hollering his name. Yeah, and they then are. They said they, then they announced 
is his last race. Oh, he's quitting? Yeah. That was his last race. Well, they, he called it retire. But well, what the fuck? He's like 30, isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Damn, I don't know. they do have it figured but, out. But it's yeah. his last race. He's done. That's yep. cool. He's, he's done. And I had the chance, as I'm standing in our own, we had our own VIP booth to watch the race. They said, once you get all your promotional shit done, you get all your autograph signed, babies kissed, you can go up to the booth by yourself in private, have some food, watch the race. Yep. I mean, like, and those other two guys. And, and, <laughs> and so, well, so I'm thinking about, it, I'm like, you know what? Hey, fuck it. Like, it once in a lifetime chance. Where does a dirt, a dirt bag like me, when am I ever going to have another chance to go sit in a VIP box? Yep. With food catered and chefs and the whole deal, treated nice. like royalty, and get to watch yep. a NASCAR race, especially the last time Dale Jr. gets in a race car, right? And, I mean, that's a big fucking deal. So, uh, you know, I'll do that. And then I walked up there, and I walked in the booth, and I sat down, and I looked over the next to me, and two guys snuck into the booth that weren't with us, and they were just, like, loving it, dude. They're looking at yeah. each other, and they're going, <laughs> can't believe we made it in. He's like, hey, because like, we barely made it in. Yeah, we right, didn't have enough right. passes. Yeah, they're you like, know? That, that, that's Big Chief right there. Right yeah. There, right? You know, and so, hey, and I went, and I looked around, and I looked at the track, and I, I, and I was just like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why. But I just, I left. Like, I, I and I didn't get to thing. see, and one day I might regret that. Yep. I didn't want to regret it, and plus my son was there, and he really he was really excited about it. Yep. You know, so since my son was there, I stayed for half the race, and then fuck it after that, my son wasn't ready to go, so I left. Yeah, I would have done the same thing. My son too. ended I, up staying and watching the whole race. He stayed that. up there in the in the box office with my dad. So, so maybe it's just us. I don't. I don't maybe know. It's but just we don't get. But it. my dad stayed there, and my son stayed there, and he had like. The greatest time ever, I guess. So, so I'm thinking, like, literally, I'm thinking. I think it's just us, man. It's 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 just a I'm different. Thinking we're doomed is what I'm thinking when I'm doomed. walking out of this NASCAR race because there's so many people there, Jeff. The energy is unbelievable. The amount of money, yes, that it takes to there. do that. Yes. Oh my mm. God, it was insane, dude. Insane. So. But you don't get to see the energy that you see the energy around it. But you don't get to see the energy in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, there's no... The only energy you see is if somebody actually does hit something. Right. You yeah. Right. I mean? Because other than that, it's just momentum. They and just once, have a, and they once have a, I saw that, I rolled out. Well, they have a... <laughs> <laughs> you probably I, went, saw somebody, oh, I saw somebody hit the wall. I went, well, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> there it like, is. <laughs> but you don't get to see the energy because it's momentum. They're just, they're just yep. keeping momentum yep. in a certain line of the track and trying to keep the mile per hour up the whole time. So there's no acceleration there's no nothing. deceleration there's nothing no, it it's looks like a, they're going the same speed though yeah time. it's yeah. just um you know i don't know it's just not like with horse racing okay you can see the energy in the horse every time his hoof hits the fucking ground yeah you know what i mean you can see the snot blowing out of his fucking nose you can see all the shit they pumped in him right before he went out there pumping through his fucking veins and yeah. this motherfucker's heart's going 900 miles an hour and they don't give a shit if he makes it to the end of the track as long as he wins Yep. You see that energy, and you see the fucking jockey whipping the fuck out of him. Yep. Well, they got these guys so enclosed in there, you can't even see them turn the wheel. Nope. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can't see the cars do anything but just... Burr, I couldn't do it. You know? So yeah. to me, I got to see energy. As lame as dragsters are, if you stand fucking behind one, oh, yeah. and it's got some horsepower, you get to see it. Yep. It accelerates. It tries yep. to rotate the earth. Uh, right? Well, and just like whenever we went and did the, the dirt track stuff, there's even you can even see the energy yeah. in that because you're coming around the corner dirt. sideways, sideways. It's slinging yes. dirt. You're pedaling it. Yes. You're getting sideways. And you hear it. And, yeah, yeah. Right. And 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 think about that. That's two. How many? I mean, how many horsepower was our old Cordova? The one I was the, uh, the Cordova <laughs> the is about 104. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hey, we had a great time. Scared in that. to death. <laughs> Hundred. I thought you was gonna <laughs> fucking kill me, and my heart rate was up, and we had a but great time in 104 energy. horsepower. There was energy, and I'm sure if you were driving one of those cars. You know, I don't know. 500 laps, though, I might just pull over. Yeah. I'd have to go, ah, I'm over it. I'd have to piss like 900 <laughs> yeah, fucking I times. Do. I'd just be like, uh. I'd look at Jeff and go, yeah, I'm over it. I'm going to need a Diet Pepsi. I'm going to need an Uber at turn <laughs> yeah, get, four. get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make a right? <laughs> 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 so, like, dealing with all of it, man, it was just so much energy, but you don't get to see it in the race. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you're not really involved. Yep. You're just so yep. out. But the one thing that they have going for them is they have that team. 
you get to be a part of that guy or yep. that team. Yep. Drag racing will never, the way it is currently, you're never going to have that because I don't know how much it costs to drive a NASCAR. No idea. From what I've been told, it's based on talent. If you're really freaking good at it and you're really rich, you get to drive. All those guys yeah. looked like they were the same to me out right. there. Right, but in drag racing, I know. Yep. It costs $4 million. You want to drive a top fuel car? No, you don't come up. What? No, no, no. To drive one. To drive a NASCAR. Right, but the driver doesn't have to bring it. No, no, no. The corporate sponsor brings it because there's so much energy. In Jesus. drag racing, in drag racing, no one finds you at your fucking local track and goes, hey, He's You're got a it. bad motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to put you in a fucking drag race car. No, yeah. no, no. Otherwise, Stevie Fast would rule the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No doubt. The problem is, in drag racing, there's like two guys. One, and it's just like the, it's just yeah. like the movie The Godfather. You know what I mean? You walk in and you go, Don. 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 <laughs> it's the Don. And it just Don. happens that his name is Don. It, it just Don, so yep. His name's Don. And you say, I want to drive, Don. Yeah. And, and he, he says, goes, did you bring the money? <laughs> Three million. Says, he says, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. <laughs> yeah. okay. You do these things. <laughs> you do these for me, and I'll get you a car. And they're like, okay, Don, what do I got to do to drive a top fuel car? And he goes, you bring me a bag with $4.3 million in it, and I'll put you in a piece of shit that I don't care about. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know? <laughs> yeah, and then we'll work because, into being competitive. And you'll get that space down there <laughs> yeah, at the other yeah, end. Yeah, and your tuner's going to have one arm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> But not really. <laughs> but like, it's all about the driver has to bring it, yep. right? Yep. So then the driver is stifling himself because he just worked his ass off to find some sponsor somewhere that didn't know drag racing, that nobody watches drag racing. Yep. And they bring this sponsor in and they go, I got my four million done. And he goes, yep. okay, get old Smokey over there. That's mm -hmm. the car you got. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. Smokey. And then the one that's bandages together. <laughs> Yeah, and then you get to go out there and do your thing and hope to pray to whoever that shell, you know, pray that whoever they're praying to, you got to pray to that person. You know what I mean? And, yep. like, it just... Yeah, but you can't stand out. Well, you could. Well, but that's the thing. You could. You could if, you're, if you were born with it. Yep. I mean, take the man, and I ain't taking nothing away from him just because he's got money. It ain't his fault he's got money. Steve Torrance. Oh, badass. Dude, dude, he stands out. He does yeah. whatever the fuck he wants. That's because he don't have no sponsors. He don't have to worry about right. nobody. So what, nobody so that should show you the driver shouldn't have to worry about his own sponsor. Yeah. Yep. Steve yep. Torrance, it should be the example of what drag racing is. Yep. And he goes out there and calls him. He says, I'm racing a gold digger. You know what yep. I mean? Yeah. He goes out there and talks shit about everybody. He doesn't care. You know what I mean? Like, yep. he's not worried ass. about where that check's coming from. No, he, it's there. No, you know it's I mean? there. Yeah. yeah. And. He says he, what the fuck he wants. He signs you his own what? check. And he, it, by being that way, he might just get a sponsor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he does stand Yeah, out. but he doesn't care. But he, I, I guarantee if he wanted a sponsor, he could get one. But he doesn't give yeah. a shit. He don't that's give two what, flying but fucks. But that's what, like, nothing right now has. Yeah. Besides, like, WWE or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of gay. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, like, you know. It's that just, and, and that's why hip hop Atlanta. And yeah, people, <laughs> people are always asking, like, why, why, do, why is your show successful? Why is the ratings on your show so good? But that's why. It's because we're all doing it with our own shit, so we don't give a fuck. And every time we go to starting line, we got every best piece of shit part we can, and we yep. drug it to the starting line. Yeah, we're gonna shove it down that motherfucker's throat, and we don't give a fuck. Yep. yep. And, we'll and we'll talk we'll shit about, about other it. people. And and we'll, we'll tell you about. Yeah, it. we'll tell you about fucking having to pull a rear end out of a car and put it in another car. In, in between, between rounds, rounds, yeah. Just right. to fucking make that deal happen. I mean, did anybody have any problems at that NASCAR race? I don't fucking know. I didn't see no doors fly. I, off. I mean, I didn't. I seen the one dude clip the wall, but <laughs> other than that, I mean, hey, and he probably what did got he a have to? For it. Yeah, I mean, what did he have to go through to make it like, to that race? It's just we don't know. It's it's a lot of there's a lot of energy around it, but I think it's just focused in the wrong spot, you know. And yeah, is. but the you tradition, like we said, the tradition has carried it this far. And so I think everybody's just going, ah, fuck it. The, the just, money and the fans are still here. There are things that will always be there because of tradition. The Kentucky Derby. Okay. Yes. The yeah. Kentucky Derby. Yes. It's always going to be there. It is tradition. People go there because it's tradition, because it's been going on for over a hundred years. That would be years. the only reason I ever even considered going there to see what the whole fuss was about. Because it's tradition. Because I'm not from there like right. you. So I don't watch that because I know every year since I've known you, 
that's your weekend. You know I what I mean? It. You, I love you, it. there's, it doesn't matter what we got going on in our Kentucky, lives. You watch that fucking race. It's beat into you. Hey, when you're and a child. I always Kentucky go, Derby, the what Derby. the fuck? You, you know, watch it? Hear, you know, every oh, fucking I love year. The Derby. Hey, Derby. And then, really? And then fuck. I've been around his mom before one time, and them two start talking about that shit. And, you and go, I'm going, I have no fucking clue what they're talking about. But you know, when you're in, when you live in Louisville, or we lived in Lexington for a little while, we that's traveled a big around. Part of it. When you live in Louisville, you know, we lived down and we lived in the Highlands. We lived, you know, the Derby's right there. Yeah. And so I, mean, I know that all we, that is such tradition, and that would be the only reason I ever even thought about going there. And what's yeah. crazy you know? is it, it's such a big deal. Like the whole town shuts down for yeah. this. Yep. This horse race is the biggest thing in the whole world at that point in time to everyone around there. It's crazy. And you know, I've never even been to it. I've never even been inside the Downs. I've never even yep. been in Churchill Downs. Just because people like me didn't actually get to go to the race or, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you, you let people park in your front yard and, you know, you charge people for showers and, and you go to the <laughs> Belvedere and you have a party and you <laughs> listen to live music and you bet on horses and you bet, yeah. you bet every dollar that you wish you what had. What you got for the year. Right. So. Like it's a big deal, but it's tradition. The horses haven't gotten faster, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're gonna get a little faster here and there, but it's fucking nature. It took them it's a million same, years to yeah. get to where they were. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like it. Well, unless you're a Christian, and this. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna. Here I'm gonna, we go. Yeah, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> sorry, mom. <laughs> sorry, just sorry. <laughs> Okay. I hope yeah. not. Uh, he said your mom listens to this. God, I hope not. <laughs> I know my mom don't. Ain't nobody else listening to this but deal. It's a tradition, and it's talked about so much. You get to pick your horse at the beginning of the week, and you don't need to. You figure out if he's gonna, you know, what is is he, what's his lap times? Is he kicking ass? Is he not kicking ass? You know what I mean? Like who's his trainer? Yeah, was he sick last week? You know his trainer. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta exactly. know all that shit okay. about him. That is what NASCAR is now, because yeah, it's, it's just nothing left to it. There's no nobody standing out left. You know yeah. what I mean? But hopefully, the tides are changing. You know, maybe well, it'll be, maybe it'll be, maybe we'll get the chance to show them. You know, if anything else, <laughs> they ain't gonna give me a mic. Hey, I don't know what kind of ratings NASCAR has, but I know that that one one network that I have a little something to do with its ratings are pretty good. Yeah. Man, you talk about energy. The night we were at Bristol and those people were all now, there. That's what I okay. So that's where I was Holy going. Yeah, the people, yeah, the people thought, were awesome. I thought we were done. I thought there's no way now anybody's going to show up to our race because our race is three days after this race. Yeah. Like, nobody's going to be there. I thought the same thing. There's no fucking way anybody's going to be there. None of these people are going to go through that. Yep. And, it, you know, it was hot. And oh, it was God just, damn. and it was a Tuesday. It's fucking brutal. Dude, when they opened the fucking gates, like when we pulled into the track, they I said was they like, had to. They opened yeah, the gates two hours the early because yeah. there was seven miles of traffic out there. And it was blocking the fucking highway, so they had to open the gates. Yeah, yeah. Phantom had to get a police escort to bring our bearings, like so the, the fag bearings. The fa yeah, <laughs> yeah, the fag bearings. The day before, uh, the day before there was a, a track rental, if you will. A bunch of the guys got together, they rented the track, <laughs> and they tested. Now there was a lot of people mad about that. Fuck them. But you know what? They still mad about it. But you know what? Rent the track. That's it. And then guess what? When you rent the track, you get to say who shows up and who don't. I did not rent the track. I didn't pay a dime to rent the track. I didn't no, but they said that it. we could make a hit. But they said I could make and a hit. And so I said, cool. They said I, I could make a hit. <laughs> I, I said, okay. <laughs> so, I, sh I mean, of course, you know me. I didn't show up till dark. You yeah. Because yeah. I don't get out of bed for 2, 2.30. But, yeah. uh, but they were testing out there all day. You know what I mean? And it's like, hey, if you wanted, if, if you wanted it, go do it. And then we got to work. We got Well, yeah, okay, well. A lot Sorry of people about will luck. quit their fucking job to go try and win this race. So, you know, what do you want? You know, how do you beat a guy like that? I guess. Yep. I don't know. Well, in testing the night before, we made one test hit and blew a tire. Uh, you know, good, good God. Shit showed it. Shanked <laughs> it right into the Shanked trees. Shanked it. Changed, you know, we put on another set of tires on that we had brought with us, thankfully. And then we made our last test hit like 15 minutes before they shut the track down. Like, I barely got to make one fucking test hit. And it was fast, really fast. It was bad. Yeah. But it we didn't make it back. Like, locked up the rear end, you know, bearing locked up. Yeah, so old trusty golf cart goes down there to get it. It was <laughs> blowed up too, wasn't it? Yeah. It was on, as, yeah. That was as the, the, that was the second Oh, day. that was the, yeah. that was, that wasn't the first <laughs> no, time. No, when we got there. A good the, old golf the, cart. At the test day, like, nothing was going right. Like, yep. you know, you go to fire the generator and it's like, nah. Yeah. And you go to park the, oh, and the truck didn't want to make it. Like, That's I was right. broke down on the way there three times. Like, every possible issue you could have was going on. 
But you know what that usually means. And that's what Sean's dick, Sean, this, this dickhead. I get there and I'm just. I didn't feel like it's dickhead. I hate my life right now because nothing's going right. Everything I touch turns to shit. I've been Everything. in that part of your life with you before. <laughs> <laughs> And it's questionable. And I'm just like, God damn it. Why am I here? You know what I mean? Yep. And so, and Sean goes, Hey, but you know what, pal? Hey, usually when you have this much trouble, you fucking win. And I'm like, <laughs> thanks. Now, if I don't win, it's going to be even worse. Like, cause now I feel like I have to, I have to live up to that now. Well, there you go. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wisdom. So. <laughs> So the Baron goes out in the rear end. It locks up. Now, you know, it's not a sponsored rear end. So it's not like I'm going to withhold the name. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm not going to tell anybody whose rear end it was. Yeah, no, we pay for those parts. We pay. Yeah, Yeah, it's not sponsored. It's Mark Williams rear end. It failed because of me. You know, Mark Williams. Yeah, it's uh, not Mark Williams. No, no. Travis at uh, Mark Williams. Isn't his name Travis? Yeah, Travis at Mark Williams told me when I bought the parts to put it together. He said, hey. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. You can't do that. And what did we say? And I said, duly noted. Duly noted. Which I got, you know, that's Dave's famous line. Yep. I said, duly noted, and we put it together and we went racing with it. And he said, at the very minimum, you should change the axles and and, and the bearings like every 30, 40 hits. Because oh my. It, you can't go as fast as we're trying to go on a flanged axle. The, yep. the bearing is at the end of the axle, the way it is in a passenger car, a normal stock passenger car. And we didn't listen because it was a lot cheaper. And, and lighter. And it is lighter. And it was lighter. Because I kept saying, why don't you have a floater? Ah, fuck that. That's too heavy. Now, I built a brand new fucking car and still didn't put a floater yep. in. Yep. Yeah, it, the floaters were a little heavier and yeah, more expensive. Are. Yeah, like 14 pounds. Damn. It was, at my, I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was more. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I, who knows? Whatever. Four, 14. Now, if you, if you say it like that, now it sounds stupid. No, yeah. It does. <laughs> hey, you think I'm not kicking myself in the ass on them wheelie bars? What am I going to save? 10 pounds, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. So the car locks up, won't go back, won't move. That I'm was just like, f- God damn it. Fucking mess. Like, just fuck me running. And then the track comes over and they're like, hey, good job, man. You just made the fastest hit of the day. And I went, what? Said, yeah. I don't know how the fuck you did that. I was like, what it run? Oh, we can't tell you what it ran. And I'm like, but well, it was why the, the fastest. the fuck would you say anything? He said, but it, was the, but it was the fastest. So now, all of a sudden, there's this little glimmer of, ha! He's like, yeah, fuck it. Of course, I'm so far down at the end of the track because Bristol's three miles long. Yeah. I'm yeah. so far down there in the fucking But if you woods. got a good rear end, you could coast all the way back to the pits. But you I didn't. Could, at least a timing shack. <laughs> so I was yeah. locked up down there with Bigfoot and the ambulance guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And whoever else is out there in the fucking yeah. mountains. And, and I'm like, Fuck yeah. Fastest time of the fucking day. That's what's up. Just got here. And then, of course, but my car won't move. <clears throat> so we drag it back to the pits and it's a mess. Who has a bearing? Shoo. I don't know anybody Nobody that keeps them fucking bearings. No, no one. Yeah, no one had. It's a double wide old school. <laughs> fucking double wide. <laughs> double wide and fast. Hey, Sounds bearing. like my childhood. When I started that, everybody in Bristol started shaking their head yes, and then I said bearing, and they went no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, has anybody got a double wide yes. bearing? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm still thinking, though, that nobody's going to show up to this race. Like, because, you know, it's testing. Yep. Yeah, and there was literally nobody there they like emptied that nascar yes. fucking place emptied the fuck out they went yes. on to wherever the ne- next nascar thing is you know what i mean they follow the nascar thing yeah i'm sure it was in a circle but they got there eventually they probably had to ask for directions <laughs> i don't see how they don't get fucking nosebleeds uh. uh so then phantom is looking for a bearing not gonna find one you know what i mean no and you would think they would. There's of course, a track I start right to there. go over and ask some other guys in the pits. You know, it's like, ah, it's really hard on me too. It hurts the pride. You know what I mean? To yeah, but everybody else say you're broke because you want to go over there and light a cigarette and go. So how'd you do? I know you're not the fastest, but how'd you do? <laughs> yeah. you <know? laughs> My shit flew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can't because you know. Yeah, it fell apart. Broken. Yeah, and then everybody out there is going. You don't have a fucking floater in that thing, and I'm like, damn it, yeah. I suck. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> thankfully though. You know, Phantom, he's our, he's our dude. He reaches out, makes it happen, fucking gives me the old, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, don't worry about it. So then I didn't worry about it. Not at all. Nope. No. 
Went and back to the pool. Actually, yeah, yeah, he went actually, back to the fucking pool. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I went and hung out. I did, too. I went and hung out in the pool all fucking yep. day yep. thinking, hey, yep. all we got to do is put a bearing on this thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Driver's meeting was at 7. 6. 6. Phantom got to the track with the bearing at like at five. Yeah, it so, had to have been past four thirty. It like had to have been past four thirty or something. He had to drive three Damn. hours away to get that fucking bearing. And hey, but my man's here picks up two of them because you know how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. We gonna fuck one up. Yep. <laughs> hey, and his thought process was. We're going to fuck <laughs> one up putting it on. Yeah. And Not then, like running it and then no, no, fucking no, no. it up. No. Putting it on. We're going to fuck one of them up trying to beat it on the rear end. Well, yes. Because we don't have a press. So then. I don't know if anybody knows that or not. But no. We don't carry presses around <laughs> in the <laughs> fucking. I can't believe we don't have a goddamn press on the credit Oh, really? There's not enough room. There's not room enough room. For My, everything the golf cart barely heavy. fits in that motherfucker. Yeah. Hey. You know. And mine's just. Walls are just laced with shit. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, we should have left your golf cart there. Like we did that generator hey, that hey, blew up on hey, us that one time. My, <laughs> just fucking leave it. Parking lot just cleared out, and there's a golf cart sitting there. The fucking blowed up rear end in it. That was in Georgia. We left my generator, didn't we? Yeah. I don't think it's yours. It was my brother-in-law's, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. I think it was Ryan's. It was my brother-in-law's. We left one in Georgia and one in Indy. We left them big blue fans everywhere, though. Remember, I had two or three of those. We left them everywhere. <laughs> and they dragged the generators down. You know the shitty generators that we had. So we didn't have a press or nothing, but McDougal, I don't know where he was going or why or what he was doing, okay? But McDougal shows up to Bristol with Get Some, our our buddy Get Some, who is also from the Little Axe area of Oklahoma. Which which, tells you a lot about him. For those of you that don't know, it's east of I-35, and anywhere east of I-35 is a little bit different. It's got like it's kind of like being up in the mountains. They were. Yeah, it was a lot like where we were. It's a at. lot like where we were at. So, uh, get some is his name, and he's just to give you some background on get some. Uh, he has a tattoo across his stomach like Tupac, but it says get some, so that you <laughs> yeah. know when he's ready and he rips his shirt off, you're gonna get some. You're, you're gonna, gonna get, get some. You're gonna get some. <laughs> <laughs> Well, get some fit in like a glove. Yeah, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. He showed up and and he put in work. Yeah, he did. So McDougal shows up. So now we got we got the Monkey Bros and get some. We got three people from Little Axe here. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, Nick's from Little Axe. Is he? I think so. From Little Axe. He's gotta be man. They grew up together. Huh? Maybe so. Weird. He didn't make that travel from I thirty five. (laughs) Fucking. <laughs> when, well, you know, that young. So we had Nick. We had a good group of people. We had the best crew we've had in a long time, right? Well, we didn't have a press. And no. I'm sure you've seen the video. Everybody's um, seen the video. <laughs> I seen it live. Yeah, I was, I was amazed. While they're assembling the drivers' meeting, get some monkey, and the other half of Monkey Bros McDougal have. Somehow found uh, where the fuck did they even get thirty five kamikaze? Plates? Yeah, kamikaze guy had him in his fucking trailer. What for deadlifts? I'm, or I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. It was weight on the yeah. in the Elko. Oh, I'm sure it was part of his. He couldn't make a pass until we put them bearings on. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two thirty five pound, but you know bar barbells, dumbbells. They weren't dumbbells. They were plates. plates. They're, they're just forty five pound plates. Yeah, thirty five pound. They plates. fit right over hey, that axle, and it was the right exact diameter to fit over the axle. And, and used as a slide hammer. And used as a double slide hammer. Yes. <laughs> it was a double whammy. Yes. So then you got Monkey holding the bearing in place, Get Some's holding the axle, and McDougal is lifting the plates and slamming and them slamming the fuck them down. down. And I'm trying to reassemble the rear wing. <laughs> and these are little bitty Phillips head screws. And I don't know if I told y'all, but I had a rough week getting out there <laughs> and a long day in the pool. Of doing whatever I was doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I didn't exactly have my shit together. So I'm trying to screw the fucking wing back together. And every time I get ready to put a screw in that wing, those fucking plates hit the ground. And it, boom, and I shank it. Just fucking <laughs> screw goes everywhere. So I, And I'm just looking over the car and I'm going, we don't have a fucking chance in hell. 
There is zero shot that that's going to Yeah, work. but I kept looking at you, giving you the thumbs up, like no, everything was going to be you good. You kept looking at it and laughing and pointing and going, ooh, and then when, I, <laughs> then when I would look, you would go, hey, hey, it's good. It's you good. Nah, nah, yeah, no worries. the elbow like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the look. Yeah. yeah. And he goes, hey, yeah. the, the. Yeah. And then every time they fucking, every time they shank it and hit something besides the bearing, Sean goes, oh, shit. <laughs> he goes, ooh. <laughs> yeah, they go, ooh. He ooh. ain't never going to yeah. make it. And then McDougal go, I don't worry about that. <laughs> well, so then that started a thing because I'm kind of trying. I'm over. I'm over micromanaging my crew here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, sometimes you just got to turn them guys loose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you should never. Turn. No, no. There you, should always be a supervisor. Yeah. And Nick was the best we had. Yeah. So, <laughs> and McDougal turned and looked at me, and I said, "Hey guys," I was like, "Are you fucking serious? Like, the wheel studs are an inch and a half in the ground right now. Is that in the pavement?" Yeah, yeah. The pavement. Yeah. yeah, I was like, "Is that gonna be okay? Like, are we gonna be able to get the fucking lug nuts on it?" And McDougal looks over at me and he goes, "You worry about yourself." <laughs> and I went, huh. "Okay, all right then, <laughs> okay." Hey, because you don't want to do it. No, no, I don't <laughs> want to do it. <laughs> You're not gonna keep I'm it. I'm not gonna try and figure out how to get that bearing <laughs> no. on there, or try to figure out how to get them studs on. Yeah, or try to figure out how to get McDougal off of me when he comes fucking <laughs> yeah. trying to fight me. You know what I mean? Like, fuck it, just hey, yeah. then get yeah. the shit done then. Hey, my bad, man. Yeah, I didn't hey, see what yeah. you was doing. No, so it looks like you got it. <laughs> you got that deal figured out, huh? And so I was like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> you wonder what they're gonna do next, huh? <laughs> you know, with your jig, huh? <laughs> so then I go back to the back of the car. I finish putting my shit back together. Get the tune up ready. They're calling us up to the driver's meeting. As we're walking to the driver's meeting, you can still hear the boom, <laughs> just ping. Oh, you know how it is whenever you slap and, plates together. And I don't know. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. We, you, you know. CT Fletcher, you bro. know. So I don't know if you've been to Bristol, but it's like a valley. Yep. And it's really loud. And that ringing sound <laughs> carried through all the fucking hollers in the hills. We could hear it in the driver's meeting. And, yeah. and I get up there and I look up and there's 32 fucking thousand people. There. And it was like a dinner bell for them guys. <laughs> Cause they was all over at our pits. <laughs> and I was just going, Oh my God. Like I walked out there and was like, Oh my God. Yeah. Like, where did all these fucking people come from? That was real. Dude, they showed up two days after a NASCAR race. You know what I mean? Like, that was rough. It was, yeah. and I'm sure that it was rough for them to wait till the end of the month to get that other check, you know, cause they spent it all right there. Like, <laughs> you know, but dude, I couldn't believe it. And the fans, they were, I love the South because they're not assholes. Not at all. Yeah. You know what not I mean? Not at all. Like man. they go, this one guy had no shirt on, of course. Yeah. Tattoos all over him. He's fucking drunker than a motherfucker. That just narrowed and it he all goes, the way down, didn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, goes, <laughs> he goes, Hey, chief, are you going to fucking come out here and sign some shit or not? And I went, Hey, motherfucker, I'm trying to get my shit ready. There's 60 fucking grand on the line. I got two seconds to get up there. They're going to fucking disqualify me. He goes, all right, man. I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes, hey, but, but if you're going to do it later, let me know. I'll be over here. <laughs> hey, man, some people, you know, he said, are just yeah. fucking assholes. Other yep. people, I was like, look, guys, you guys want me over here signing autographs? Or do you want me trying to get my car ready so that I can fucking maybe win something? Hey, how about you when know? we were filming the and, scene? And they and were cool. The, the fucking know? people were yelling at you. We were filming. You're going to like, come on, man. We're fucking filming. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. yelling in the background. Hey, yeah. But, 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 were, but most of the time, people in the South will be like, fuck no. We'd rather you get your car fucking hey, go going. Get that money. Hey, go there's a lot money, of fucking you know? people who'd be like, no, fuck you, man. Hey, yeah. we came all the way out here to see you, you yeah. know? Yep. And I don't understand people that's like that. Man, but they're, they're so nice. And, but they come off a little edgy, you know, just because that's where they're from. But then, then the hey, cool as fuck. Cool as a fan. He goes, he yep. goes, hey, my bad, baby. I was just asking. Go do your thing. Go get your money. <laughs> yep, he goes, I'll yep. be over here. He goes, I'll wait all night if I have to, brother. I don't care. And well, I was he probably like, heard everybody else and you ignoring them. So he said it, you know, with his chest a little bit. And then once you got his attention, <laughs> then he was like, oh, come on. Oh, baby. come on, <laughs> baby. So I got you, baby. It was, they were just so nice. And then one dude was being a dick and the whole rest of the crowd just attacked him for it. You know yep. what I mean? They're like, leave him the fuck alone. Don't you see he's working? So, <laughs> Long story short, the monkey bros got the bearing put back in. Mm -hmm. We go to the starting line. I drew Doc. That's right. Uh, who has never beat me. And I'm thinking to myself, great. Yeah. Who fucking knows if this bearing's going to hold on to the finish line? And Doc could beat me in front of 32,000 people. Yeah. Yeah. But he didn't. But then 
the, there was a fucking rule in the driver's meeting. I've never been a part of a driver's meeting where there was this rule. It was so weird. Yeah. We're in the driver's meeting, and they say, in the fucking driver's meeting, Boosted GT says, if any part of your car <laughs> flies <laughs> off into the other lane... In front of in him. Front, you know, if it crosses the center line before the finish line, you lose. And I went, yeah. who the fuck wrote that? Like, <laughs> when would, Why like, would that why? fucking yeah. happen? Anyway? Why is... Obviously, at some point, this has happened, or it wouldn't be a rule. And you're Nobody thinking, just who the thinks fuck of, and let's just say if something comes off their car, yeah. or they're hey, fucking out. And Kai Kelly's standing next to me, and he goes, yeah, that's because that's of me. That shit happened to me one time. And I, was like, <laughs> and I'm, I look back, I'm like, fuck, I ain't, I ain't that stupid. That shit ain't going to happen to me, <laughs> fucking dumbass. Hey, well, then, sure enough, right? I mean, did I don't know if I didn't know if I was at the finish line or before or after. All I know is I was kicking Doc's ass, I was pumped up, and all of a sudden, we lost cabin pressure. Yep. And that fucking passenger <laughs> door came off. Yeah, it did. And it was like a movie. It was like one of those scary movies where the fucking half the 747 comes off. everything starts getting sucked out. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm like thinking, shit, let's put this seat in. I'm going out. You know? <laughs> 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 Everything in the car is getting fucking sucked out the window. And I'm just like, and I'm looking and I'm going, but uh, was it? Yeah, before but, or after. Because it showed hey. a fuck went over into his lane. But I didn't know that because I'm in the car. Oh, it goddamn sure did. It off came, hey, it came the off the fucking wall. Because it was your, you were, you were, it was your passenger right door lane. and you were in the right lane. Right. So it skeets off the fucking wall. Couldn't tell by looking at the door. It's, it's in good shape. <laughs> it's still in really good <laughs> Looks shape. Looks great. <laughs> Comes off the fucking wall and skeets over in his lane. And, oh. and he still almost ran over it. <laughs> like, Dude, all I could think of in the cars, I was like, there's no fucking way that this just happened to me. <laughs> like, there's no way we just got the car back together. The wheel bearings are fixed. You know, and of course, Boosted, yeah, you know, fixed. Boosted's running this event. So he wants, he going to fuck with you. Yeah. You know, oh, you going to make a good pass last night? Well, you will see what you do with this one. So <laughs> then it, over the night, obviously, he had a bunch of fucking elves out there washing the track hey, with Ajax They had or fucking washed it down with soap and you water and talk shit. about no prep. Boosted was going to do everything he could to make that a no prep. Oh, they almost soaked it down. And so, because yeah, the damn. night before that track was kill, yeah. and he scraped it three or four times trying to get he rid tried, of it. He tried, but it just kept it helping. Just kept, it. Yeah, it just got better. So then, <laughs> do a I burnout. Up, when I went up for first round, like I'm thinking, oh my god, that track is bare as fuck. My tune up from last night, who fucking knows? Hey, and then I'm like, I just need a good draw. I need a good draw, and I drew number sixteen. Yeah, perfect. Jackie Knox. Woo. Moving on, right? And then they go, ah, oh, we got to redraw. Yeah, I had Dominator yep. first round. You had Dominator? I had uh, that red Mustang from Noah. Davis? Yep. How did he do? He, I think he lost. The little tire car? I think he had. I think it was a small tire car. Yeah, oh, he went out first round. So all yeah. three of us had the perfect yeah, draw. It was, no, I was the moons were stoked, aligned. Man. I was fucking stuck. I, I was like, my car wasn't even together. While we're doing the driving, you can hear bing, bing, yeah. bing. <laughs> You know, and I just kept on thinking to myself, if I get this first fucking round out of the way, that's all. Just please let me get this first fucking round out of the way. That's you exactly know? what all I was, I was thinking, thinking was. Let me get a, a late round draw. Let me get 15 or 14 or 13. I got 16. I got the last one. It was a fucking perfect way. It couldn't yep. have gone any better. And I was like, oh, thank God. We might just have a chance. And they go, yeah, we got to redraw. Then I get five. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, I don't even know if I'm going to make it and up I had here. four or something. Yeah. I, wasn't, I yeah, the, yeah, the race right in front of you yeah, or right some shit. I was like, God Damn it. And you get Kai Kelly yeah, in the redraw. Yeah, draw fucking Kai Kelly. Who you do draw in the redraw? Megalodon. Megalodon. Fucking right. Yeah, nice. I mean, who else? Dog, who else? Kai Kelly and Megalodon. Yeah, yeah. we had Jackie, Dominic, and Dave. <laughs> it just, and I was thinking, all right, the universe is not going to let me win They're this They're fucking one. us. For whatever reason, they don't want me to win this one. Well, I still thought I was going to mm. win. I me mean, too. Because I, cause I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I know my shit's faster than his. Yeah, but there's I, no doubt about it. We I just know had my shit's fast. Lined it out, fucking. But yeah, racing fifth. I didn't think I was gonna be up there in time. Yeah, no. We yeah. still hadn't put wheels on my shit. Yeah, no, you know I, know. I, mean? I know. Like, uh, you know, like, damn. Yeah, but that bitch was going to the line. And you know, Doc's car is fast. You know, I mean, it, yeah, it no, you can't fuck it it up ain't against Doc. Fast as my car, but it's fast. It's been thirties or some shit. You know, yeah. it goes one hundred two, one hundred three sixty. But it's a, it's a bad motherfucker. There's you know? no doubt about it, man. And that's what I'm saying is you can't he, fuck up against him. He's been winning some no preps. He's been fucking yeah. doing his thing. Yep. On a no, I don't go to no preps. That's not my thing. I don't do no preps. Yep. Shit. So anyway. Shit. So anyways, after that, what happened? We we <laughs> how'd that rear end feel on that? All I know is, I mean, I I try I I I attempt to hold your car while you're burning out. I don't know if you know this or not, but 
the whole fucking car is just jumping everywhere. Shaking. Yeah. In the burnout. Yeah. So I just I'm thinking, no, nah, everything's fine. Sean goes. <laughs> yeah. Sean gives everybody the. <laughs> I gave everybody the right. holy yeah. shit. Look, the look, fuck I'm out. in the car and I'm going, man. Hey, and I. Something's shaking. Yeah. Jackie says, yeah, that tire back there is all wobbling and stuff. And I thought, what the fuck? fuck did you tell him that for you know me i'm the guy who says no nah, we'll tell yeah. him at the other end but hey, you know make, me make I, you know me i'll beat her ass if she says it later yeah if i hit the wall and she goes yeah no that tire was shaking not me like, hey, I, that's you. a chance i'll take but you're going you know? for it anyway yeah, hey, said, but that goes, motherfucker goes, that tire is shaking over there but uh sean thinks it's cool yeah I was like, <laughs> I was like, well then it's probably cool i was like shut the door yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey you were not gonna race were fuck you no. okay the goddamn okay line. So I figure there's I'm the no guy, sense if the, in saying anything. The tire's anything. going flat. Hurry, exactly. Yeah, you know I mean? Get me, me to the fucking, me to the fucking line. beams. That's Lose me. Hey, you're leaking. Lower the other shit, one. Get, get me in the fucking line. There's not much know? left. Get me in yep. the beams. Yep, that's the way I am. You don't out. fucking tell me, and I can watch your face and tell if there's something wrong or not. Yeah. But all I know is holding that car and running with that. I thought the fucking wheel was gonna come off, and it was gonna take my legs off, and I was gonna, you know. As I'm fucking running with your fucking car, I thought for sure this wheel is going to fucking come off, chop my goddamn legs off, and I'm done. You then, know? You're gonna, then you're going to be a wheelchair. Yeah, then, then the whole, you remember the Sucking first part of this, what we were talking <laughs> yeah. about, then, then that's going to be me, you know? Well, so after the door flies off and we lose cabin pressure, oh. I, I pull the chutes, you know, and I didn't need them because the rear end locked up. Yeah. And so I just stopped. And you lost cabin pressure. I mean, I I'm sure it was slowing yeah. down. But at Bristol, the shutdown's uphill. Yes. Fucking right. Yes. So, hey. I didn't touch the brakes, but I stopped like, and then I didn't roll backwards. Like it just stopped. And I was like, I was happy that I won. Right. And then here comes McDougal on the golf cart with my door, like a goddamn shield, like the guy from 300 with a yeah. shield, you know yeah. what I mean? And he looked like Captain yeah. America out hey. there fucking with that. Yep. And he's like, arm. he's like, he's like, we got this baby. And I was like, no, 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 it won't move. It's locked up. And he goes, who cares? We'll, we got another bearing. We'll put another bearing in it. And I'm like, we just don't have enough. There's more rounds. There's just, we're fucked. Oh, you know at this I mean? point, when you chew up two bearings, there's something hey, else. But you know, up. McDougal, McDougal's like, oh, no, he would have put it we in. We got this. He's like, he's thinking to myself, he's thinking to himself, you made the lick, baby. That thing was quick. Turn it up. We got this, you yep. know? And I'm like, we don't have enough parts, you know? Well, but you know what else he's thinking too is now you got two fucked up bearings. He can make one good one out of those two <laughs> yeah. fucked up ones. Yep. He said, you know what I mean? Even okay. scratch the fact that we had still one brand new in the fucking box. We're going to save that baby till the final round. He'll make those other two fucking work. <laughs> so he's like, I was like, dude, there's just, there's bearings all over the track. And he's like, fuck. And I was like, there was a bunch in the parachute. He's like, where? Hey, give me that. Give me those. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, it was stuck in the parachute. I was like, yeah, because it's coming out of the rear end going in the parachute. So he, I don't know. He's going to fix it somehow. He's I don't saving know. Him. Yeah, hey, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. He needed to. So then I was like, yeah, we're not going to be able to get it back. And if we drive it back, we're going to fuck up something worse. Mm -hmm. So he said, okay, I'll go get the trailer. <laughs> Takes off of my golf cart. Now, I don't know if y'all know this. My golf cart got a big block in it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no, I know. It is fast. It is fast. But at a certain RPM, it doesn't like it. Well, you can't. You just can't hang that baby wide open. It's like well, a Harley. He, yeah, he, it's like a two-stroke. You got to let off that bitch every once in a while. Not that. Not, not McDougal. No. No, he does or not. Jackie, he's just not, just for the record, they Jackie doesn't let, let off. They don't let off. <laughs> she scares the fuck out of me in that thing. <laughs> we'll talk about. We can talk about that later, though. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> I told her, look, Push. Jackie, I got. I got to be honest with you. You're scaring the fuck out of me. <laughs> so then after that, I had to drive. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, I don't. I don't know her all that well. So you know me. I don't really ride. I don't really ride with people. I take my own. I'll meet you there. I'm yeah. the meet you there type of guy. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I ain't riding with you. <laughs> hey, well, but if I'm with Jackie and she's driving, I'm the motherfucker who's like, commit. Get do it. it. Get do it, it the way you do it and commit to it because I don't want you letting off. You know what I mean? Like, just do this shit. You know, great. Hey, she, you know, she'd been driving race cars and I shit. thought that bitch was going to blow up the whole fucking way. <laughs> well, it so, did. With well, this, was after, this was after it had blown up on McDougal. Yeah. And you even said, you can't just wide open that thing the whole time. And she's just foot to the floor. <laughs> and I'm going, some <laughs> shit's going to come through the fucking floorboard. Yeah. And it's going to take my legs out. And you know how that story ends. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, so, my fucking God. So, I mean, oh, I just, I God. see this shit happening. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> McDougal is halfway back to our pit, which is three miles away in Bristol. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. halfway back to our pit, and the fucking 
clutch on the side of the golf cart comes apart in about 70 pieces, goes through the golf cart's body, hits him in the <laughs> leg, tears everything up. Yep. And about that time, here comes Sean's golf cart. And I'm thinking, the fucking, we need a truck and a trailer, we, a helicopter, something. Yeah. Don't, don't bring me in. And, and it's Monkey and Jackie. Because McDougal left them on the starting line. Like, <laughs> we had to hurry up and get out there and get that door. Yeah. yeah. He's seen the photo opportunity of grabbing the door and he took that shit. Yep. McDougal, yep. McDougal, all he's thinking is get that car to the next round. Fucking right. It. We got, we got to hurry up, out. dude. Yeah. He didn't even care. Nobody was dude. with him. You'd think he'd look over and go, so monkey, uh, and realize no. monkey wasn't with no, him. He, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. He rolled out. He said, we got to get that door somebody, before somebody sees it, figures out yep. it went in Doc's lane. Yep. <laughs> so. Then Monkey's mad. Oh, yeah. He was the mad. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Oh, well, I missed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah then because then he had to come get my golf cart. Because then we don't know where McDougal's at. And you like, know he's Monkey. just fucking gone. Oh, he's so then up. after and five, ten minutes, the car's not back. And you McDougal's know Monkey. not back. And Monkey's sitting over there waiting. And Monkey doesn't get the deal on anybody Monkey's over there. Monkey's not the waiting type of guy. No, he's Monkey. supposed to be in the golf cart oh, shit. getting Monkey the car to, back. Monkey needs to know where the car is so he can fix the car for yes. the next round. Because you yes. only got like 30 minutes between If that had been me, I'd have lost my data. in Monkey's mind, all he's really got to do now is put the door back on. But he's got to do that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So yep. he's over there waiting. Finally, he says, I'm taking your golf cart. Actually, I don't even think he said he's taking my golf cart. He just he fucking just rolled out. Yeah. You know? And They uh, come pulling up, and, and I was like, I was like, we're fucked and and monkey's like where's the door and i was like uh i don't know where did you not did justin not mcdougall did he not get that get back there he goes no no no. we just saw the golf cart sitting in the fucking pits down there and he's gone i was like okay he went to get a truck and trailer and monkey's like why is that rear end's locked up and he goes fuck and we just stood there hey and when monkey does that yeah and monkey just stood there and he was just like dude we can't do that again like we do that again, it won't make it another hit, you know. And he's yeah. like, "We're gonna, it's just gonna keep getting worse." Yep. And so then, monkey's standing there, hey, and he's somehow he got this giant beard between Armageddon. And just Bristol. fucking through through one week, literally yep. one week. And he's standing there, he's scratching in that big old beard of his, and he goes, "Hey!" And he starts yelling at Nick or somebody. And he goes, "Go tell Sean, start pulling the rear end out of his car." <laughs> and I was like, Fuck. "Fucking a. hey!" We get back to the pits, and Sean even said. Look, man, I'm out. I got beat. He's like, let's pull the fucking no, rear end out of No, because Chief said, hang on. We're not going to pull that fucking no, rear end out I said. yet. I said, and I go, it. motherfucker, we're either going to do it this round or we're going to do it next round. Yep. I said, One not. way or another, that rear end is coming out of my car I and said, going I, in I'm yours. I'm not pulling rear end out of Sean's car. We got a bearing. Let's just fix it. So McDougal starts fixing it. And I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there and I'm looking at Sean's dad, looking at my dad, and I'm trying to figure out what it's going to take to win this race. And Sean's like, you're going to win. And he's like, but you can't win if later in the night there's less cars, there's less chances for things to go wrong. Yep. Now's the time. time. Now it was the time. time. Now is the only, you, you only have right now. And then there was an oil down and it was like, we got to do it. Hey, yep. and so. Cause they were still running cars from the first round. Yeah. You and know, we like, were so early in the first round that we, you know, hey, if like, you're going to do it, now's the time. I was like, Sean, I don't want to pull the rear end out of your fucking car. I was like, that's a big deal. It you know is I mean? a big and deal. You got to reset but, everything back up. And Sean goes, "It ain't going straight, so fuck it. We got to do it. Yeah, anyway. It ain't going fucking straight, anyways." Hey, and there's a reason that we try to use the same type of parts. Yep. You know, hey, I'm out on the whole motor deal, but other than that, we try to use the same fucking parts so yep. that so that we can do things like this, so that we yeah. can have one spare between both of us. Well, we, of course, we don't have a fucking spare rear end, <laughs> yeah. you know, but they're close enough that we can fucking put mine in his. And they yep. and they did. We goddamn sure got it done. Dude, dude it was unfucking believable. I had no clue that that was going to go down that way. And then, like, it was just magic. Everything was fucking magical. It was just, it was one of those moments where everything we did turned just to what? shit, but that shit was fast. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> my God. But, but there was all kinds of, and, and, and everybody's sitting here going, oh, yeah, I mean, y'all just put the fucking rear end in it. There was so much more to that. There was so much more to that that I wasn't even thinking about. Like the fact that you have dual calipers on the back yeah, of your I car. Run, yeah. You stage your car a certain fucking way. Now you have to use my brakes. You have to right. rely on my brakes. Right. Okay. Without then, making a pass. I don't then, get to make a yeah. test hit. Yeah, yeah no, no I don't test. Get, I don't you even, don't even I don't know. I don't get to in the pits. You don't even know if my shit is going to fucking hold your car right. on the three-step. And All I know is I told you... It's gonna fucking hold. The widths are different on the rear end. They're too, just a little bit. Because yeah, Monkey had to. I saw Monkey using some 
Shims? Crea- Let's, crea- we could call them shims. Some creative, ima- cre- creative ways of stretching my wheelie bars to fish. Yeah, hey, they had to fit a little bit. Yeah, they, yeah and then it, we shimmed, you know, a little yeah. bit on the top. And I'm but, thinking, oh my god! But like, that's not it either. Is his wheels wouldn't fit on my rear end. We had to pull the centers out. He's got five on five bolt pattern. Mine's five on four and three quarter. Yeah, so you got to so, get some. So you got to get some over there fucking pulling some. the centers so out. He has never been with us anywhere. Never, yep. never worked on a fucking, in, I don't know. I don't know the man uh, that well. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say that he's never worked on this caliber of a car. That caliber of door car at that big of a race for six <laughs> For that much win, money. With that no. million, I mean, like, I'm just going. And maybe he has. Maybe but he I'll bet day. that he worked just as hard at one o'clock in the morning getting his car ready to go and race. <laughs> by himself <laughs> is what he did there's no doubt about it his work ethic i feel like is the same <laughs> his all the work time ethic was put into him <laughs> from an early age yep <laughs> i feel like he's got that same work ethic no matter what car he's working on or what time it is <laughs> or what radio he's taking apart or what. so i look over at one point and man i'm telling you it was it was rough because I look over and Sean's underneath his car looking for all the things that like they beat off of his car to get his rear end out. And then like get some changing the centers and the wheels. Yep. McDougal McDougal was was helping with the door at the time. Ronnie Pace had brought over a welder to weld the door brackets back on. Mm-hmm. Jeff Lutz had took the door, okay? And I never saw it again. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, Until he yeah, 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 well, some shit on there. But I mean, <laughs> like usually I get to see Jeff work. And usually I'm going, that's never going to, holy shit, he's done. No, yeah, they, like, yeah. You know I mean? Like usually it's, it's that, there's no way that's going to, he's done, holy fuck. Yep. No, he just took it and left. And yeah. so I was like. Well, I, I seen Monkey walking around. I'm like, Monkey, do that fucking deal there. Don't yes. worry about this door because you know Where how Monkey you is. fucking material? Up in the top of my trailer. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. I mean, because we may or like may not have cut the fucking skin. floor out of it. Because you, like, yeah. made a skin it was hey, so for that to, to bolt on. Because I, it was just that group. You know what I mean? It's yeah. always yep. that group. It's yeah. always that group, that certain group of people doing whatever We had whatever a certain thing we had to do, and we got it done. And, dude, and I'm standing there, and I'm watching all this go together, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, if I don't do my fucking job and yeah. get this goddamn tune-up yeah, in knew. this car we and knew. drive and hit the tree and do everything I got to do, this is going to be real fucking unfortunate. And then I thought, I'm, it doesn't matter because this thing's going to go hard right into the wall. Like, there's nothing under that <laughs> or car. Or don't hold at all. There's nothing under that car that's going to be straight, you know? And as I'm standing there looking at all of it going down, and I'm thinking, are we going to make it? Like, I'm putting spark, spark plugs in the car, and Nick's helping me. And and it's just dead silent. Like, Nick looks up at me and he goes, as I'm looking around at everybody, he knew what moment I was in. Nick looks up at me and goes, but what if we do that? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, fucking right, Nick. All I but know is I had like, what, do? eight to ten passes on that car at that point, and the car had never fucking went straight. And we <laughs> throw it in your fucking car and make one of the fastest passes I've ever seen. That's what I said. I said, McDougal. I was like, What's the chance of this fucking thing going straight, bro? I said, we're taking a rear end out of a car that can't go straight. We're putting it in a rear end of a car that does go straight. Like, yep. there's no chance it's going to go But you know in. the one thing that and we make... said that we would, wouldn't, we would make work no matter what? What? Your wheelie bars. Yeah, we did. Yep. Absolutely. I did say. Oh, cause I, and no, I did, no, no, no. You I even said, because I ain't using those pieces of shit. I will not use those fucking wheelie hey, bars. Hey, and turns out that's exactly that's what's exactly. been wrong with my car yep. from day one. Yep. Yeah, no, you know when you let weird. the button go hey, against when I, when I Kai, told McDougal, I said, "Is there any fucking chance in hell this thing going straight?" He goes, "You worry about yourself." <laughs> yep. And then get some looked up at me like, "What?" And yeah, like, that's <laughs> what he said. All right, then. All right, then. I'm gonna go in the trailer, worry about myself, dude. Then I go in the trailer. Jackie's got the computer up, and she goes, "We got problems." And I'm like, "What?" She goes, "Panvax through the fucking roof. This thing's pissed." And I was like, "Oh no." Like, don't tell me that. That's when you showed me the head gasket. Yeah. yeah. So that's <laughs> all you need. We 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 can fix anything on that car except fucking motor problems. So then it's like, you gotta be shitting me. Like, how is this possible? And I go over and look, and sure, in front, in the front of the head, in the back of the head, there's fucking copper spray everywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> holy fuck! Like, we just there's no chance. We have no fucking chance at this. So I'm like, just I'm like, Jackie, look back through the data logs. Tell me when it happened. You know what I mean? She goes back through. She finds when it happened. She says, okay, it happened on this run. I said, how much boost and how much timing? She tells me. I said, what was the air fuel? She tells me. I said, okay, that's where we lifted the head, right there. I said, now, 
We don't have time to pull the head off. So, <laughs> like, Shit. what are we going to do, right? We get the torque wrench out. We click Great it on torque. down another 10 or 15. Yep. And we Which is put, already a lot. We, we take the, the timing numbers and shit that we knew was pissing it off with the pan back. And because all I'm trying to do is make the car go fast. I'm not looking at the fucking motor tune up. I look at the plugs. Ain't none of them hurt. I'm good. Well, we were on the earth. We were on the vet, on the edge. You know what I mean? On yeah. the verge. So she's plugging in timing numbers and fucking. I'm just, I'm looking around. And I'm going, you know me, dude. Like I'm a freak. I don't like it when everybody's doing that shit. So when I look around, Jackie's in the computer. Jeff's got the door, God knows where. Sean, get some McDougal monkey. You know, Nick's putting plugs in it. Like, I was just like ready to run away. My anxiety was through the fucking roof. Yep. I got something you could take for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, he does. Make, I got something that I took to make it. You know? <laughs> 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 so, after all that shit, and we go up there and fucking. I'm not real sure if I've ever been as happy at the starting line, you know, in, in a car that I'm not racing. Yeah. And as they're saying as that, because dude, it was just fucking great as monkey fuck, setting man. the fucking four link in the staging lanes. We had to pull it under the tower. Sideways, remember? Be well, we had to pull it sideways because they weren't, they were at a, on a hill like everything else out there. Well, we looked and we, yeah. we kind of eyeballed it. So and we, we pulled was, it in eh. sideways and everybody in the staging lane looking at us like, what you, the you fuck? dumb some bitches ain't got a shot in hell. Hey, and. I looked at Monkey and I was like, "This thing gonna go straight?" And he goes, "You worry about yourself." I was like, "Okay, that's the thing of the day." Yep, Just that's what we kept myself. saying. So I get in the car. He's setting the shit up and fucking the goddamn announcer, which I love him. It's Woo, you know. We've known him forever. I mean, he's he's fucking. It is what it is. He's calling it like he sees it. We blew the rear end up. Kai yep. Kelly, Chuck, Fireball, the fucking. The probe. Uh, the probe, all those guys are hauling ass. And so yep. he says, who you guys got to win it? Who's going to take home the 60 grand? Kai Kelly, Fireball Camaro, Chuck Seisinger, or the probe. And I went. Yeah. He or, fucking counted us out already. I, I was just like. Well, me and you was already out. Yeah, well, we're first round like, losers. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, not, not even, even a gonna, mention? You're not even going to mention me? You're not even going to say, can Big Jeep get it together? You're nothing? You're not going to give me shit? Hey, man, my fucking core temperature went through the roof and i was like oh yeah we finna show him here and then dude laid down one of the faster passes it was unbelievable yeah. it went straight i have no idea how hey right. then it Wheelie coasted bars. it coasted all the way went up the hill and all the way back almost to the fucking pits it coasted yep. dude. it was and i was like okay that rear end's been fucked up for a long time so then we were like cool we're fucking golden and then drew kai kelly who had been making fast passes yeah, yeah. and i was like Man, I knew you was going to be all right on that. Dude. Yep. I asked everybody I could to. I mean, I'll, I'll admit it right here on fucking podcast. I did everything I could to find out what I ran the past before. Yep. All I wanted to know is because I didn't have a drive shaft data because it was off Sean's rear end. We have two <laughs> different drive shaft sensors. So all I want to know is, was it fast? Just tell me, was it something I can fuck with Kai Kelly or no? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, we, I yep. knew you would, man. He only beat me by a car. And I was like, yeah, but he gets faster too. You know what I mean? I was like, dude. So I'm asking boosted. He's like, can't tell you, bro. I'm asking the tower. I can't tell you. I'm asking producers. I'm like, somebody, if, if I got a shot, I need to know how fast it was. And then, of course, Jackie's like, I'm telling you, this is what it ran. Looking at the data, this is what it ran. And so I'm like, all right, you bet your life on it. And she's like, yeah, I bet my life on it. And I was like, okay, then this is what we can run on that track. I if it ran that with those too. shift points is what we can run on this track. So we turned it up, went out there and. Oh, I heard him. But all I heard about is he going to tree you. He going to tree you. Just get ready. He going to tree you. Shit. He going to tree you. He going to 60 foot you. He going to 60 foot you. Hey. He didn't even 60 foot me. He well, didn't. he did that. He did that. Time. Because <laughs> because the fucking tree shit. He well, you didn't. Guessing. Yeah. But well, dude, that, hey, you he didn't, didn't make it to the 60 foot in a straight line. No. He didn't tree me. He didn't 60 foot me. I mean, it was a drag race. No, he I'm drove so out of his life. glad finally he made a hit next to me. Whether it was his best hit or his worst hit. He made a hit, and the flames were lit, you know, yep. what I mean? and we were rolling down. When you there. let the button go, I knew we was winning that whole deal. Yep. Because that car from Kai Kelly on was fucking Dude, yep. rolling. And everybody kept talking about the bumps, the bumps, the bumps, Fuck. the bumps, the yeah, bumps. Yeah, what bumps? Yeah, shit. Your I back tires were the only ones looking at <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Yeah, and that bitch was eating it up, too. Oh, man. Oh, it, was so, it was so awesome. It was great. And then at that point, I had already told everybody, we already won. Hey, yeah. even if we don't win the money, we already won. But then we drew... Shane got the left lane. Everybody said, oh, you're fucked. The bumps are real bad in the left lane. 
that fucking car zigzagged right around him. I don't know what happened. You yep. know what I mean? Then Shane crashed. That sucked. That kind of shook me up. Yep. But, yeah. you know, then going against the probe, which I got Ryan Martin coming over to me, and he's going, look, we just raced the probe last round. He drove the fuck away from us. Yep. He's like, we made the fastest pass we've made here today or whatever, and and he just literally just drove away from me. And he's like, that car is fucking fast. And I was like, it better be. <laughs> yep. Because my <laughs> shit is It's going to need know? to be. So, and But, I mean, I was worried about it. I don't it know how fast it is, but I know how fast it's going to have to be to outrun me. That's what I, That's all I kept saying because we yep. had a plan and we stuck yep. to it. And everybody telling it. And, and I'm thankful for everybody trying to give me advice. I'm thankful for everybody that wanted to come over and help me win. Yeah, but we don't listen to that shit. But nope. at the same time, like, how, how fast can the motherfucker be? You know what I mean? So I got to run my shit. And I knew how fast I thought I could go on that racetrack with what I had. So that's what I stuck with. And goddamn, it was moving. Yeah, Plenty was enough. Unreal. Yep. And then we won the whole motherfucker. And like we, I said, we did it. From the first first day we got there. Yeah, you know, you did. You did. And we, we tore up everything. Hey, well, I mean, every hey, fucking hey, hey, We tore crew, up everything anyways. The crew may as well mad. win. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. The crew was mad at each other. Everybody, dude, it was just, it was brutal. Brutal. Yeah. I ended up missing the, you know, of course, I, I was supposed to see my kids on Sunday. Didn't get to see my kids because I was still trying to get home because the truck's fucking broke. Everything else, like, it was just everything, everything you can think of went wrong except we won. Yep. yep. And that's what, like. Telling the guys and telling people that don't understand, you tell them it's like, hey, look, if I don't, when I when I pulled out of my house last fucking week, <laughs> if you'd have told me right then and there, this was from, this was from Sean. Sean used to tell me this. We, I'd tear his shit up learning because that's how I learned the tune was tearing up Sean's shit. Yeah, he's the only motherfucker that would let me touch it. Everybody else is like, <laughs> fuck no. So Sean's like, yeah, you can try that. Nobody else would let me flip the jets around. You know what I mean? Like Sean's like, try it, fucking a. <laughs> yeah, I I was always I always wanted to go faster. Like, yeah. yep. Even at the point, no, nope. my and car I was faster him, than fucking anybody else's. But I would tell him, hey, nobody's ever done this before. And I'd go fucking right. And he'd be like, cool, let's you try. Know? It. Yeah. And when we when I'd fuck it up, he'd say, hey man, it, we, we got to try something. But when we'd win and I'd fuck everything up, he'd say, when we left the house this morning. If you'd have told me that we were going to burn up the motor, hit the wall, lose two tires on the trailer, run out of gas, <laughs> and get a... I was like, fucking right. Like, oh. that. hey, that's that showed... Fell so hard for racing, I think. Yeah. It's to to prove to everybody that you're not going to work as hard as me. That, you know? That's and the I way feel I like I've too. slacked, a, you know, a, a little bit recently. Well, you, but you won a lot. But... When I first got into this deal, man, what nobody working as hard as me to yeah. try to be fast, to what? try to learn. I learned a lot quick. Yep. I still got but a you, lot to learn. The only reason but when I first came up to Oklahoma City, man, I didn't know nothing no. about fucking racing. But the only reason you slacked is because you had it in the back of your head that you had a new car. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, that, I did. What's I did. the point? Just like when you're going to, you know, just when your lease is up, what's the point of keeping this piece of shit clean when I got a new one next week? Yep. You know yep, what I mean? Yep. That's the way he got. And he's not and, like that but, anymore. But he that works shit, on that fucking car now and more than anybody. But that shit kept on. That's <laughs> because that's my new hotness. And that's the thing that I've. I've well, because it doesn't have a choice. No, no. Your old one, if it lost, it was, yeah, but that's why I'm building a new one. The yep. new one, if it loses, it's, oh shit, it took two years to build that piece of shit. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. And I can't for forever say, well, it's still new. Right. You know what I mean? Because so, here next week, that motherfucker's going to start winning some races. But I will say at the end of Bristol, when all the lights went out, because I told all the fans that I would stay till the very last. Yes, you did. Yep. I told them, I said, I know I had to work on the car and I know I've been busy, but yep. when this deal's over, no matter what round I go out, where's my mouse in here? I said, no matter what round I go out, no matter when it's over, I will stay until the very last fan leaves. I promise. Yep. Yep. And I did. You did. But everybody else left too. And so when all that happened and the lights were off and my truck was broke down and my car was broke down and they brought me that fucking big check and I didn't get any money, I was just like, uh, how the fuck am I going to get home? Because like literally, we broke everything. Yep. We broke everything of everything from the front door, front bumper of the dually to the back door of the fucking trailer. We broke it all. But it was, dude. But it was worth it. That 14 hour ride home was just. You had a smile on your face. It, yep. it didn't matter. So you know did I. Mean? Yep. I mean, I did too, even though I shit showed and even though I, I saw, wait till both of our cars are running the way that yours is right now. Oh yeah. 
But uh, aside from drawing each other, we're going to fuck some people up. Yeah, yep. and, and hopefully we're not going to steal each other's parts because we'll then, be winning. <laughs> then Jeff is going to be like in a horseshoe like this with his new car because, God damn. I can promise I don't you fucking right race now, that thing either. Jeff's new car is retarded. Oh, my God. Retarded. It's a... Uh... It's we weird. hit to talk about how it runs or looks. Here we are. Because it's weird. Isn't that weird? Here we are. Things, yeah, like weird. I always say this weird shit about the fucking universe, okay? Yep. Like that weekend, the total eclipse and all that fucking shit. And somehow, yeah, it was of my heart. Yeah, and somehow we were right in the middle of it. You know yep. what I mean? Like we left Oklahoma to go right in the path of totality. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. Like all that shit was a little weird. And then here we are sitting here in this fucking room with all these bullet holes. My brother's out again. <laughs> There's, there could be more bullet holes. But Jeff's got a new car. Yep. You got a new car, and I got a new car. It's and they're cool. all fucking and badass. And they're all fucking fast. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a rough It's gonna be a rough year for everybody, you know? Yep. But, yep. I think we came back with a vengeance this Tuesday. Yeah. I'm going to call it shit. good. Yeah, how long I, has I it been? I feel like we're either going to run some people off or, you know? Uh, you know I think everybody would be good with it. <laughs> if not, fuck them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the only people that will be left is... Well, we started with three. Mexicans, so. really. Yeah. yeah. We made fun of everybody but Mexicans. The guy's beating on Sean's roof.